So, hello. Uh, in the last session, uh, you guys were informed that the dancing lady would be fixed and ready for set for sale in the morning. So you guys did a few things before your departure. Uh, you guys had asked uh, if there were any known tritons that came into contact with the town and the innkeeper who was trying to fix her broken life at this point or broken items uh, told you that Vulture, the local squid fisherman, would probably know of some. Um, so you guys spoke to him. He says the Tritons do come up on shore early in the morning to trade. Uh, usually they would trade mollusks of uh, different varieties, some that made dyes and things of that nature. And uh, Melanie had given the uh, vulture a citrine necklace to like convince the Tritons to stay a little while longer so they could ask them a few questions. But before they left, uh, Melanie bought a really big squid the size of a keyboard. And gave it to Shadok. And Shadok wore it as a hat. And Melanie was pretty proud. Um, meanwhile, uh, Zaitari and Ronnie had used Commune. And they learned that Shadok was born during low tide. That there was a magic item that belonged to that once belonged to Yokovas on Sierra Sea Island. The pe uh, jelly bean... The kidney-shaped bean island that Rain had a map of. And it was possible to take down a shark god descendant. Uh, so y'all, so the trio of Rain, Melanie, and Shadok hung out on the beach for a while to make sure that Shadok was a little away from town so her bad luck didn't, like, start infecting things. And then you guys saw a hermit crab using an elf skull as a shell and found there was a marrow inside and the marrow was a prison for a thief that was once known as the Silver Wind whose name he claims was Kismet. Uh, Raloster, the god, an old god of murder and mutilation, among other things, uh, jailed him because he stole from him and then slept with his son and daughter. So, he may have deal with you guys since he, you guys were like the first faces he had seen in eons. That if you guys help him release his soul from his prison so he can go to the Astro Sea finally... Then he would give you his magic... He would tell you where his magic items he used for his uh, thieving profession were. Um, so, Kismet was shown to Zaitari. Uh, then was shown the map of Sierras. And Kismet recognized the map. Uh, he did steal from Nikovas, so he stashed his grass ship and his magical rook perch there. The rook perch being... Pretty much like a cloth version of a immovable rod. Um, you guys met up with a triton named Kudus, uh, who couldn't really answer most of your questions that you had about like Ikovas and like Unburly, but there is a, a holiday uh, to her. That's uh, that's gonna take place in about two weeks, and tritons and other uh, gentle denizens of the ocean are warned not to go in deep water if they can help it during that time, because um, uh, kidnappings and all that other stuff. Um, also, that there was a variation of where sh sharks that were derived from bow sharks that might be descendants of the Yakovis. Anyways. After you guys got that information, you guys got on the ship and told the captain, we need to go to Saris. And he's like, okay, that's cool. You're paying me anyways. Um, apparently, <coughs> Shadok's really good with her hands. So this white stone that Ronnie had given her, she had made it into a necklace. Uh, she gave Rain a carved shell, which is pretty intricate for, like, a five-year-old. And then Rain gave Shadok the plastic boulette you guys had found in the Feywild. Uh, you guys rode to the island. Uh, Kismet was like, I was over there when I stashed my shit. And as you were landing, um, Rain's uh, leg got caught in the ooze. And, yeah.
yeah, that's there's where we are. So, just moving over to the map. So this is where uh, this is the this is the map. That is the ooze. You guys are right about there. <laughs> It will take half movement for you guys to get out of the hole. Wait, right about where? What? I just zoned off for like five seconds and we're in a hole? Yeah, so yeah. you guys were doing the whole portable hole broom thing. Oh, yeah, yeah! yeah. We're in a goddamn swamp that's trying to eat us. That's right. Okay, sorry. Yes, so that is the cube. The ooze. You guys are right about... Rain's right there. <laughs> So Rain, you can put your I don't in. think you're on the right layer, um, or something oh, because you guys are right there. Say, there you go. <laughs> Rain, so you I'm can like, put your token say. right. Yep, thank you. Um, by the way, I can see Melanie's uh, character sheet. I will take that off. You must have piloted me at some point. No. Oh, was uh, maybe everyone had it when uh, somebody piloted me? Because somebody piloted me and put a bunch of lyrics in my stuff. Wasn't me. Yeah. Mm. Who knows who that it was? Mm. Some mysterious person. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, and then let's see. It really wasn't me. I want to. I want to make. Oh that... no! I know it was. I know it was KK. Everyone knows it was KK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this what my sister feels like when everyone assumes it's them and it's not? Damn it. The boy who cried wolf now. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys can roll initiative. Uh, just be aware that currently the only one that is out is Rain. You guys are still in the hole, so like I said, half movement to get out. Right. Um... Uh, did anyone roll portent rolls for me last time? No, so you can roll those yourself. Okay. If you wish. And, um, did anybody cast spells? Uh, not since we woke up. Yeah, you okay. guys are fresh. It was mentioned to possibly have had you send a sending yesterday. However, we were going to leave that up to you. Because we did not want to uh, take away your, you know, autonomy. Okay. Well, what did you want me to send? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was like, yo, our weird library elf, we've got some Triton bullshit. Can you look it up? But I'm going to be certain. I don't really remember. Fair enough. All right. Well, I'm around at the very least. Uh, my... Landlord tried as hard as he could. Not landlord, sorry. My property manager tried as hard as he could to get that pilot light lit, but it's not staying lit. So he called a plumber, uh, who's hopefully coming tonight. What? Well, it's because it's a gas thing. So. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be getting a call from him at some point. So we shall see. But for now, I am available. I'm sorry. You're cold. Oh, well. The thing that sucks is I don't have any space heaters because when I moved in, they said no space heaters. So I was like, okay. <laughs> oh. So I'm just, uh, I got I got two layers of leggings, uh, socks, slippers, hoodie, and another hoodie. <laughs> Koda, where are you when we need you? Mm. Uh, he's upset because he's cold, too. Like, he's been... Uh, running around, not settling down. But I also shut the door uh, to my bedroom until uh, my property manager had a chance to go into the basement. All right. But unfortunately... Can you, can you like, open your oven door with your oven on, like, low? Mm, yes, all the way in the back of my apartment. That'd oh, very oh, effective for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well... There was at some point, oh, it was when the electricity went out, but we had a gas stove. We were like, well, ha <laughs> ha. So, yeah. It's not helpful, sorry. Eh, eh, eh. It happens sometimes. I mean, it's not freezing. It's just, it's just really cold. 
I mean, it, it's uh, it's not the best time for this to have happened, but it's mm -hmm. also not the worst time for this to have happened. Ugh, hold on, he's knocking on my back door. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so did I? I'm. It's been a while while we're waiting on Mallory. Did I link the image of the? Yeah, I did. I did. I scrolled up and found it. The ridiculous, stupid head I put on that thing by accident. Oh, the pointy head thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My sister. So I gave it to my sister, and she's like, well, "What is he?" And I was like, "Well, <laughs> he's a stuffed toy." And she's like, "But what is it?" of and i was like oh, yeah that's a good question she was like do we have an answer and i was like no i was like i'm gonna be honest uh it, it wasn't supposed to be that pointy on top i kind of just ended it that way and she's like it almost looks like a person but it has a tail and i'm like look i didn't have a plan <laughs> and my brother-in-law looks at his wife and he goes this is going to be his favorite toy and we are going to have to take it everywhere. And every Explain. person we meet yep. is going to say, what is this? And we'll be like, no one fucking knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. <sighs> Welcome back. Okay. Uh, this is Atari. Uh, you are first. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, uh, so right, this big green thing. Yep. So we're you are still in the bag. Okay. So half uh, movement to get out. Sure, that's fine. I'll see it. Scream. Uh, <laughs> hex it. Uh, with hex blades curse because <laughs> it's close. Okay. Um. Oh, that's uh, definitely within thirty feet of me. Quick question mm -hmm. was there a reason we weren't just getting the fuck back in the bag because rain <laughs> it will die <laughs> if we don't get out oh has she been like globed uh it took a swing but yeah, didn't said... didn't connect okay we activate oh hexway's curse damage is on perfect uh and uh, let's do some eldritch blasting because i don't want to get close to this thing um i'm actually going to move back a little bit uh 5 10 15 20 um this is the hideous swampland is it half movement it is half oh yeah that's right it okay, is half so movement and i was here yep 5 10 <laughs> so when you get around here and move away it will take it will take a swing at you as its reaction hmm yeah i don't know if it can oh i need to attack first and then i could uh then let me i i imagine i would be able to tell oh as i'm running away this thing the will it, yeah you could probably me. it probably could tell by its size and this uh size of its pseudopods that yeah this thing has uh has a pretty decent oh, reach yeah, that's, a mm -hmm. that's a bummer that's fine uh i'm just gonna hit it with eldritch blast and probably <laughs> deal with it <laughs> and then you uh, know with an eldritch blast so you got this it's bad I have War Mage. I have Warcaster. Oh, oh never mind. Warcaster doesn't. No, Warcaster yeah, War doesn't do that. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. That's um, either uh, Spell Sniper or. Um... Oh, Crossbow Expert does it. It's the only thing that does it. Even uh, much for spells. Okay, um, I think I just oh. put myself on the map initially. Uh, would I? Where would I be coming out of? Five, within five feet of rain. Oh, okay. Then could I get, like, just be, like, right next to it when I get out? Yeah, you can. Instead? All right. Because I just put myself on the map not knowing anything that's happening. Um, great. Then I will hit it twice <laughs> and then run away. Okay. A whopping ten feet, but, you know, whatever. I'll use Mobile Flourish to go with it to give myself some more movement. Um, a one. I don't know why I hit struck with advantage. That shouldn't have been on. It would have been a 
Yeah. yeah, 22, 22 will hit. It, this okay. thing is like it's a giant thing. If you if you can't hit this, then there's 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 definitely something wrong. Okay. So twenty one uh, plus then. seventeen. Two hex damage. Oh wait, no, I didn't do that. That's right. I hex blade cursed it. God damn it. Twenty one. Uh, I apologize. 17. Uh. Is this so just the first hit or? No, it's it's both because I get oh, okay. two attacks. Uh, I'm just looking at my flourish. I mean, I doubt I'm going to be able to push it, but... And then I will... Use that to back out five feet. Uh, where is my bird inspiration? Remove one of those. And I will move ten feet. Okay, sounds five, good. Five, ten. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is my full turn i am done all right rain i uh drop the um uh the broom into the hole towards to build up okay um no 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 because all of our bags are on that oh i figured rain carried them yeah i carry them i don't put them on the broom. okay in okay well in my head i always tie my bag to my broom so Then I drop it next to it and hope nothing kicks it in. That's fair. Everyone just be very aware of it. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with rain ha uh, hold, holding my bag of holding. Um, and then I am just to give, you know, move a little bit. So that's half speed? Yes. Like, you know, five, seven, fifteen, like, yeah, over here ish. And um, I am going to attack it with uh, Nymph and use a True Strike. Okay. One. So I'll give myself a sweet advantage. It wouldn't be fair, would it? <laughs> You're pretty much in its. You're it. it. It's an ooze. <laughs> It's very clearly an ooze. It could be a fey. <laughs> it's not a fey ooze. A foos, if you will. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Uh, so 30. 30 okay. And uh, then I'll hit uh, offhand with the uh, hellfire. Okay. You gotta have so much shit. Or six damage. Woohoo. And yep. That will be it. Okay. And I don't know why that disappeared. So I'm going to do one. And plus 18. Okay. Uh, Ronnie, what is your dexterity score? Minus one. Okay. <laughs> Just, alright. You are next. Barely, I assume. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna pop out of the hole, and I'm gonna toll the dead on the ooze. Okay. Uh, it wisdom is saving throw. Wisdom. DC eighteen. <sighs> DC eighteen. Wisdom. It makes it. Oh my god. <laughs> this How? Thing, um, it's pretty wise ooze apparently. Pretty wise. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, that's right. I don't get empowered spellcasting. I get that stupid divine strike. Okay, yeah, that's my whole turn. Okay. Um. So you guys were you're fighting, and the shrubbery over here starts shaking. Oh God, which shrubbery? Uh, hold on. This shrubbery. Oh, Those goody. shrubs. Yeah, yeah. Because cleverly camouflaged 
as a bunch of shrubbery. Uh, You see a ketchup get down. <laughs> we oh, see no, a ketchup get down. <laughs> ah! You see a large shrubby wor shrubberish worm. Sure. Um, this not? this huge worm, uh, covered in mud and leaves and twigs <laughs> that perfectly camouflaged itself into shrubbery. Uh, there are only three people on the battlefield right now, uh, so it is going to swim through, well, kind of slither, uh, through the water. Let's see, who would it go after? Hold on. Um, uh, towards Ronnie, so, oh. you. Yeah. That's okay. It has designated you as the slow target. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, valid. That's valid. I am an octogenarian. <laughs> yes, that's why you're slow. Uh-huh. Not because you're a turtle. A big fucking turtle. I'm an old turtle. <laughs> that's the kicker. Um, uh, AC is 24. Okay. Uh, it will attempt to first uh, bite you. Uh, and that, that will miss. And then it's going to bring its stinger around and try to sting you. Uh, that is a 25 to hit with the stinger. It gets in between the shell plating somehow. Wow. Near your head. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's impressive. It's very impressive. <laughs> I, don't get a, I don't get hit a whole lot. Uh, so it will do 15 points of piercing damage. Uh, can you please roll a constitution saving throw for me? Okay, you are fine. Uh, the poison that is trying to course through your old veins is not coursing very well, and you are not oh, poisoned. Oh, good. Yes. Sorry, jokes on, jokes on the no. worm. My veins are all collapsed. There's nowhere for it to go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, right here. Counting how many empty vials she has. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. These this... shitty health potions. Dum, dum, I dum. mean, <laughs> that is how we made a lot of our money. It's 100% uh, true. <laughs> okay. Um. So, the bogworm went. Mm hmm. Yeah, so... Jennifer. I'm guessing it's not yet my turn? No, it's not. They're called bogworms. I had an NPC named bogworm once. <laughs> uh, so... You guys, um, apparently this is a swamp. There's a lot, lots of swamp gas here. Some that oh. are that look like some uh, that look like a group of uh, like a cloud of houseflies, like this individual here. Except as you're getting uh, as it was floating closer, it looks more like a a cluster of lightning. This this cloud more like a cloud of fireflies, and then as it gets closer, it's like are the are are the are the are the bugs zapping in the cow? What's going on? Um, so it's going to slowly, f it's going to slowly waltz over here. Waltz. Oh, sorry. What? What? Where is this thing happening? Right here. I think that's the purple the one. The purple thing. The purple, yeah, cloud. the purple cloud. Fucking hell! This is a. Very... I'm gonna go after the entire goddamn swamp. <laughs> This is yeah, a very. Gonna, I don't blame you. Make you explode, uh, Kamikaze, the swamp out of existence. <laughs> um, okay, and it is going to try to make a few pseudopod attacks versus Rain. Rain, you have the uh, displacer cloak, I assume. Yep. Okay, so it will do first at uh, disadvantage. Yeah, that's not going to work. And then 
That's also not going to work. And then... That's also double fours. Wow. That's also not going to work. It has missed you three times with its pseudopod gassy appendages. <laughs> that, that, that's not pleasant. Gross. <laughs> uh, so... Gassy pods. It's probably just going to fly the fuck out of here. It's like, <laughs> fuck this, I'm back on the ship. Bye, guys. Dimension door is out. <laughs> Uh, the Firefox ooze. Also, oh, worried. those things are sweet. Yeah, I like them. All right, so the bogworm went, and then it they was were the gonna Firefly be part of my ooze. Ooze, my ooze battle. And now it's Tilda's turn. Great. Once again, Tilda is woefully unprepared to fight any fucking thing like this. Um, so she. Crawls out of the damn portable hole, grabs her broom. Uh, I don't know where that would put me, exactly. So you you end up five feet in the... where the purple dot is. Yeah, you fi end up where five. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. About well, here. Yeah, five feet where rain was. Yes. Yeah. Um. Grab my broom. Um, I'm going to. I can't I can't risk it from both of these things, right? Like Well, the just to let you know the ooze went. The ooze used its reaction. No, it didn't. It didn't because we we took that back, right? As I yes. uh, yeah. So, yeah, yep. it possibly both. So, things. no. Uh, um, you are currently in the fuck zone. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm very much Yeah. Um So, what I you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna uh, kick off on my broom and try to get out of here. Okay. Because. Engage. Yeah. But... yeah. Yeah, but I have an idea. Um, well, first of all, okay. Let me ask mm -hmm. before I do anything. Yep. Um. So I, Ro, am not great at judging like distances mm -hmm. and measurements okay. in general. Okay, that's fine. Like time measurements, uh, weight measurements, not great at it. Okay. Um, is What do I have to roll to see if Tilda could tell if either this ooze or this bog worm <laughs> is less, is 500 pounds or less? They are both not 500 pounds. You could probably easily tell that. They are over 500 pounds? They are both over 500 pounds. Fuck! They're really... The, the ooze itself probably weighs close to probably a ton. Ah! Uh, the, the bog worm... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like you can put it on par with the purple worm size. You, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, it's way bigger than I realized. Yeah, that is way bigger than I thought it was. Holy fuck. Yeah, it takes this. Yeah, it takes it uh... three by three, technically. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just because it's like all snaky looking. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, it's not that big. <laughs> it's a big boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think okay. it, it might girl, actually or... be a really good idea to disengage and run away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to use my action to disengage. Yep, that's totally cool. Um, and then I will use the rest of my movement, which, uh, if I have the movement to get out, then I, I assume I still only have half movement for flying. Yeah. Uh, so, different I actually looked this up recently. Uh, I don't know why. I was like, what, what's the difference like with the movement thing? Uh, so, when you use half of your regular movement, which I imagine is 30 feet, mm -hmm. um, the 15 feet would get subtracted from the total of the fly speed. So, oh, okay. It's not half of the fly speed Interesting. movement. It's it just gets basically it. You can move at maximum. Okay. Like the highest. Speed, okay. But... So then I still have 35 feet of movement on my broom. Mm -hmm. So I disengage. Okay. And fuck this <laughs> shit! I'm out. <laughs> Over here. Yep. Uh, somewhere. 
I I'm scared of everywhere right now, so... You could also just go straight up. I was actually just gonna say, just get up in the air so they can't reach you. Probably yeah. gonna be your safest bet. Yeah, because... That's fair. These things are definitely gonna slap the shit out of us. Oh, yeah. Just punches in the face. Um... Uh, just for uh, some sake, I I'm going to move over here and up. Okay, so like... How far is... Yeah, how far up do you want to move? I think that would be 20 feet. You can get up. Yeah, as most. far as All right. far up. 20 feet get. up. 25. 25, 25 okay. Alright, I'll yeah. put that, I'll note that. Alright, 20 feet up. 25. 25. Okay. Uh, and Good since you get to... not afraid of heights, <laughs> okay. Uh, since you disengage, that's your turn. Uh, ah. yep. All right. I do have a bonus action, but uh, I don't know if there's really anything I can do with a bonus action here. Um, hang on, hang on. Let me around. Bonus action. Just a bonus. Go. Um, that is not a bonus action. What are you doing? Fuck. The things aren't working. <laughs> the filters. Mm. Sorry. So sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I will. Mm. Yep. I got nothing. Okay, uh, so next is the wetland ooze. Uh, Melanie mm -hmm. hasn't come out yet, so it still has three targets. Um, and it actually has some intelligence. So some, so a good, a fair amount actually uh -huh. for an ooze. Um, yeah, normally Fuck. they're atrocious. Yeah, this this is actually like this. Apparently, all the cells has gathered into this ooze and made it smarter and wiser, really fucking wise and very freaking charismatic for hmm. ooze. Yeah. Um, why does it need them? Hey. What? <laughs> it means it's a negative four instead of a negative five. <laughs> I'll let you guys know the stats afterwards. Uh, but let's see. It probably saw the... All right. Um, let's go with Zaitari. Okay. Um, it is going to try to slap you about with a pseudopod limb. Sure. Sure. Uh, does a 25 hit? Uh, unfortunately, even with shield. So, yes. Okay. Uh... Um, so 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then... I'm Jesus. sure I'm grappled. Uh, yeah. 13 points of acid damage. Okay. Uh, you are grappled. Um... Then the second attack, since he has you... Oh, great. Please engulf me. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, that's the plan, but first it's going to try to go after Rain, too, since it has two pseudopod limbs. Good thing I'm not concentrating it's on anything. It's news. It can have as many pseudopod limbs as it well, fucking Well, technically, wants. this one has two. <laughs> um, all right, Mrs. Rain. Uh, so, yes, it will engulf you. Yay. Uh, Ooh, so you oh, are you are God. you are now in this you are now in the ooze. Mm, I tried to get away, but unfortunately, it was not enough. All right, uh... should have dimension doored and just okay. shot at it from far Can away. Can you dimension door just from inside it? I'm gonna try. And it has a vocal component, right? So I imagine as I get engulfed, I'm going to take a gulp of air. Fair enough. Yeah. Isn't well, and I guess it I mean, might be the uh, uh, table rules that you have like one spell cast worth of air. I don't know if that's a. I'll I'll I'll, I'll allow it, but okay. Just so you know, you are restrained, so you are no mm -hmm. longer grappled. 
Uh, you have total it's cover. It's worse. Yeah. It, you, have, you have total cover versus attacks while you're in here. So that's, that's oh, good. Oh, yay. Um, it's definitely it's not, not going it, to slowly it, digest me. Yeah, the, the attacks of digestion, uh, the, they come Are through. not protected. Um, and it is... Hmm. Could you give so the you're... wetland ooze like a uh, something so that I know I have it uh, hexblade cursed? Uh, that's what the purple dot was for. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. I thought that was. I thought that was uh, the portable hole. No, that's oh. where that's where the portable hole and the curse ended up because rain was convenient. there, so it's very convenient. Also, okay. did the ooze just drop like a whole bunch of cutlery or something? That was my hu- that was my husband. Yeah. How dare he? Stop dropping shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't he? Need, he needs to stop drop and roll. Uh, <laughs> um, and it is going to. It doesn't really like being near rain. Well, eh. does, how does it feel against bogworms? Probably doesn't give a shit. But I mean, it's. And ooze, it can digest almost anything. One. It will try to move away. So Rain and Ronnie get an attack of opportunity. Two. Okay. I might actually use my divine strike for once. Three. Nice. Maybe not. I don't think Four. I have a magical mace. I think I've just got like a a basic mace. I thought we gave you God damn. Uh, can I use a charge um, from Nymph on an uh, opportunity attack? It says yeah. when I attack. Yeah, you can do that. All right, I'll use another one. All right. I don't fight with maces. I fight with magic. Um, you actually, Ronnie, Ronnie. <gasps> well, I hit it? Yeah, you, you did hit it. It's a really big target. It's very hard to miss. Two psychic damage, too. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the mace doesn't look like it did as much damage as we were hoping. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything, so my my (laughs) expectations are, like, zero. Um, Rain did everything. (laughs) Jesus, fuck. You already used your sneak attack, right, technically? But it happens every turn. Per turn, not per round. Per turn, okay. Yep. So if I could somehow get an attack on every turn and around, I could get that many. Like, I I think that I did the math. At level 17, I could get... With the right order, and with the right skills, five five sneak attacks in a row. Motherfucker. So you do? You, I'm sorry. Do you or do you? Does it not? Do you? Do does it? Do you sneak attack? Yes. yes. Okay. Forty-seven then. Yep. Okay. Fifty-eight points of damage in total. Okay. Whoa. Um. Okay. Um. Does it? Jello jigglers are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Big oofs. Get it? Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Melanie, you may now climb out of the bag. Fuck that. I'm not going to climb out of the bag. (laughs) I'm getting out of the bag. I am jumping out of the bag, and I just look real confused (laughs) and angry. And you see Zaitari and oofs. Honestly, what are you doing out here? It's not a rest stop. Um, and then you turn around and there's a giant worm. It was, though. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Have we gotten hit since we long rested? No. No. I, this was no, your first was combat. the first time. Yeah. Okay. I apparently just didn't hit the long rest button last time. All right. Um, I will mark off a Thunderbird dive. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to... Oh, nope. Not what? all the way gone. Thunderbird dive. Um, it's from Lion Bear. Fuck! And uh, I feel like <sighs> it's falling with style. Mm. It is. Okay. I just Effectively. throw myself at things. I eat myself from place to place sometimes. <laughs> um. So I have been in the presence of Zaitari when Zaitari was swallowed and then became a goddamn god. So I'm gonna be like, she might have this. Let's give her a second. 
It's fine. Yeah, and, it's fine. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I remember the last time this happened. And I'm going to turn to the worm and be like, oh, shit. <laughs> and so I am going to uh, unload on this guy. Okay. 23 um, hits. Unload. Um, and then I am going to use my goading attack. Mm -hmm. uh, so it needs to wait, make a... 22 was saved? There's no way. Is that based on my strength? What? Yeah, it is. Oh, I can yeah. actually use these now! Okay, um, it, 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 it fails. It's wisdom save. It's not right. very, um... Uh, so... Uh, da -da 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 -da. It has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets other than me. Okay. And uh, that was my bonus action, and so I'm gonna go ahead and use my next attack. Okay, fourteen. Okay. Uh, plus three for the goading attack okay. damage. Plus three, and then plus fourteen total for this. Or, and or... then um, my third attack. Oh, that 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 will definitely hit as well. Efficiency. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Zartari. Uh. Do I take damage? Uh, at the start of my turn. No, you have taking it. Uh, yes. You take damage at the start of its turn. Oh, sweet! I dimension door out. Okay. <laughs> this fucking ooze. All right. Um, I'm going to, uh, you know, say the singular verbal component. Uh, it escapes. There's like just a trapped air bubble mm -hmm. in front of me as like. <laughs> Uh, purple void just sucks me in and then like spits me out uh, at the fucking corner of the map. <laughs> okay. I want it as far away as possible from this thing. <laughs> Please and thank you. All right. Uh, as something worse comes up behind you. <laughs> uh, well, I'll deal with that if <laughs> I need to. I'm seeing if I have anything that is a bonus action. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, well, no. I want to get as far away as possible from it. Um, and I always fucking forget about Hellish Rebukes, bitch. Um, can I hex it, or are we doing um, only cantrips? I can't remember. Ah, uh, we do only cantrips. Okay. That's uh, fine. Uh, then I believe that I am done. Okay. Because uh, everybody else is now too far away from me to do a bardic inspiration. So, yep. All right, Rain. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to disengage and back off from this guy okay. right here. No, back off from Get right there and uh, stab the worm. Okay. We're all waiting with bated breath. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Oh my god! Well, so 13 plus. <laughs> You're oh, a goddamn Jesus cheater. <laughs> and I love I, it. I bribe those guys that roll 20 fair and square, okay? <laughs> did, you, did you suck all of uh, Sylvie's <laughs> luck on Tuesday? I think so. Like, holy shit. Store it for later. Okay. That's uh, where Prime's luck goes, isn't it? <laughs> You're stealing everyone's luck! I'm a, a what is it, a luck vampire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um yeah, you embed your dagger into its very prickly hide. By the way, is the bog worm a fae? No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's it, it I is. don't know, it could be. It, it, it's not. Like hags are fae. Some of them are fiends. Not all of them. That's true. That's fair. I, it does not appear that this bog worm is fey. It takes the average amount of damage from a crit. <laughs> uh, would you like to do anything else, Rain? Uh, I believe that is it for me. Okay. Ronnie! 
Is the ooze immune to being charmed? Um, because if not, I would like it to please make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, in Ronnie's long career of being, you, you probably think it's uh, it can't it can't be charmed. It cannot be charmed. Okay, that's that is fine. Uh, wisdom saving throw still because I'll tell the dead on it. All right. so I'm not. All my spells are like completely useless for this. It's like Hero's Feast and uh, Control Water. Uh, 21 Wisdom Safe. Yep, that I succeeds. Know. I feel like Control Water could be really useful against the right type of ooze. Oh, like a wetland ooze. Mm. Not this ooze, though. Alright. Um, I will, as a bonus action, do a basic level 2 spiritual weapon against the ooze. Okay. Uh, and just... I Whack it. All right. Uh, do, 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 What's my bonus to hit? Where do you want it? Um, like over here. Okay. So it's diagonal from the dot. All right. And... So cold. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, six points of force damage. <laughs> Ooh. It's better than nothing. Just uh, just start running some real crazy computer programs. Like real, you know. Oh, what yeah. Minecraft. Uh, oh, I could just uh, run Red Dead Redemption 2 on my PS4. Yeah. <laughs> That'll, That'll do, do it. it. That'll do it. That'll uh, give you toasty. Oh, man. Ronnie, are you happy where you are? Yeah, I don't okay. want to... Right. Are any of us happy where we are? Oh, God of War did it too. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally not playing God of War because it scares me with the noises it makes. It sounds like a <laughs> fucking jet engine. It, right. it, it calms down after like 10 minutes. All right. Uh, Melanie, you have to displace your cloak too, right? I do, yes. Okay. Uh, the worm is going to attempt to bite you. Understandable. Yeah. I just punched it a bunch. <laughs> uh... Well, technically, you hit it with your sword. Technically, yes. Um, so you slashed it a bunch. Does does a 26 hit? The slash, slinging, hash, bringing. Yeah, okay. Slash, yeah, it does. Okay. Slinging. Um, hash, slinging. So <laughs> you, you take... It's a hash, slinging, slasher, yeah. Yeah. Just the eight. Uh, you take 10 points of piercing damage. And... I would like you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, fucking indomitable that shit. Oh, yeah. Do you want my 17? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Do I do uh, you are not swallowed. It is tempted to swallow you. <laughs> I also have Lucky, so I, I'm i probably not gonna end up taking on those, uh... Okay. Those... Yeah. Uh, a little frustrated. It's like a intelligence check. A little frustrated. It's going to attempt to sting you. It has a stinger? Yes. yes! Yeah, yes. we went through this! Yeah, that's what hit Ronnie. Mm-hmm. Gonna be honest, guys. I did not remember that part. Uh, it does not sting you, and we rolled an 18. Okay. Uh, it, it's going to shuffle this way. Uh, Ronnie can... Did you take your... You took your attack of opportunity with the ooze, right? Oh. Um... But it's in my turn. So yeah, yeah. Okay, you can. You may back. take an attack of opportunity versus the ooze if you wish. Is it? I mean the bogworm. Bogworm. Is it leaving my space? No, it's not leaving your space. Not yet. God damn it. Nineteen to hit. It. You will hit. You just hit. <clears throat> nine points of damage. It takes the full nine points of damage. Nice. <laughs> Watch out, guys. It's Ronnie's moment in the sun. That means he's gonna <laughs> die next session. <laughs> he's tasting glory now. <laughs> All right. Uh, the uh, ooze of fireflies is going to shuffle this way, say hi to Ronnie, oh, oh, and oh. is going to attempt to hit you. Uh, probably won't, but it's gonna it's gonna give it the gosh darn you know college the college, college try. try. It's gonna give the old college try. That's a twenty seven to hit. Yeah, uh, that hits. Okay. Yeesh. Um, it mastered in that. Uh, yeah. Um, so Got a it fucking will... PhD. So it's uh, 
as it's pseudo it's it's pseudopod limb reaches and tries to slap you um you see there is electricity arcy sparking um through that limb uh oh, you will boy. take um 14 is that a 14 wait 13 14 18 points of bludgeoning damage in addition mm -hmm. you will take four points of lightning damage cool that's the first hit awesome. that's one of the purple thing yeah, yeah the uh, firefly ooze fire yep um I don't that, like that. yeah that's a 19 uh that's not a 19 that's um 15 so that won't hit uh will a 24 hit your armor class meets it beats so okay. yes so please you can take give yourself shield of faith. <laughs> I am going to on my next turn. Nice. That's 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh-huh. And five points of lightning. Cool, yeah. Solid. Okay. Um, and that is its turn. Tilda. Alright. I'm going to cast um magic missile okay at fourth level okay on the uh purple ooze okay um until it dies so <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll keep track <laughs> that hit pretty hard <laughs> so that's 64 oh for um, so it's 3d4 plus, uh, 3 plus 3d4. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason it's... So 64 plus 6. Yep. Right. Uh, so right now we've got, um, 10 okay. from that. All right. So plus 10, um, it is still up. Oh. Nice. And, uh, that is... 14. All right. Plus 14. Is, is that the right amount of. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Still up. Oh, wait. Uh, the the plus it. one, that should be. It should have two more on it. So it should be a 14. Yes, that's what I said. Oh, sorry. I thought you. Yeah. Uh, still up. Fuck. Um, okay. Then I will. Uh,. Fly over here. Okay. Um, because I'd like to get a little closer to um, Zaitari. Oh, I'm I'm not looking bad as far as health is concerned. No, but in case something else oh. comes up and attacks you, I yeah, I okay, would like I one of us to be fairly close, like in the middle. I get it. I get it. That's kind of my 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 uh, sweet spot is somewhere stuck in the middle with me. Um, <laughs> oh God, I just looked at the. You the guys next know the rest of the song. <laughs> yeah. You. I actually don't draw your own conclusions. <laughs> I I just you don't know the song. No. There's uh, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck Something in the middle with, with you. <laughs> okay. All right, I see how you feel. <laughs> so the next page has the picture of the actual bogworm. It technically looks like a giant caterpillar with a row of shrubbery on it. I mean, a, a terrifying caterpillar, but caterpillar nonetheless. That's just you just described a good weekend. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, so are you done? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the ooze is going to use as fairly good intelligence. One, two, sup, right? Um, sup. Uh, so, Splicer Cloak is back. Uh, but it has advantage, so it cancels out. Uh, that will not hit you. <laughs> That might hit you. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. Yep, that's going to hit. Okay. Didn't even have to go that far. What was I doing? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you will take 
One. Uh, six. Ten points of bludgeoning damage. Fifteen points of acid damage. And you are brought into... This All right, I'm going to have that. So it's in plus All right, you guys watch as Narain has been eaten, engulfed by... <laughs> I have been replaced. <laughs> <laughs> by the ooze. Uh, but it's Melanie's turn. She's going to fix all of this. It's Melanie's turn? Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. Melanie <laughs> runs <laughs> away. This on the bug <laughs> I'm like looking over and i'm like oh that's not good and then i'm like oh this isn't good either <sighs> we're surrounded by bad things this is the bad touch swamp <laughs> <laughs> why did we come here i have a question for the dm yes while rain is swallowed can she see and or hear me she can see you. She probably can't yeah. hear you. Could I? <laughs> could I use my commander strike feature to inspire her to attack as a reaction? Uh, let me see. What creature that can see or hear you? Can see, use you, it is C. It is C. Yeah. It is C. I will give you that. I will give you that. She can see you. It is like looking through jello, but she can see you. So I am going to. <laughs> so cut yourself turn... out, babe. I turn around, <laughs> I look over to Rain, and I just make a stabby motion, and I'm like, come on. And I kind of shrug and stab, and then I just turn back and start like stabbing uh, the worm. <laughs> shuffle over one step. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Just kind of shuffle here. Is that. Uh, does that put me mm -hmm. in reach? All right. Yeah, you are in base to base contact. Like, come on, stab him. You got this. Come on. <laughs> I'll use my last charge to cancel out the disadvantage because I'm restrained, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll just go to a straight roll. <clears throat> yeah, you're fine. Um, so that is twenty nine. Yeah. Try to carve my way out. Uh, Does you he... are still inside. Oh, she doesn't get yeah. vomited out? No. It's not swallowed. Yeah, it's not swallowed. Oh, it's not right. It's, it's in go. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'm going to stab this worm a little bit. Just uh, a little you, bit, though. Just a little bit. Just, just, yeah. just, just, a, touch. just a touch. Just a touch. Just the tip. Just a... just yes. Uh, well, uh, just to let you know, the first hit would have brought it down, so you still have okay. your second attack. So hold on. I me... am attacking the ooze now. Okay. Uh, the worm falls um, with a splash in the shallow water. Uh, so you may think so. Uh, so that's a twenty-two to hit this. Yeah, that that would have hit the ooze. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, so <laughs> you turn her, you face the, you face the bog worm, you smack it in the many eyes it has, it, oh, yeah, yeah. you crush its pea brain, uh, some hemolymph, which is insect blood, comes out, it is, uh, black. Um, you whirl around, you smack the ooze Metal. in the ooze. And <laughs> yes. it doesn't have body parts. Like, <laughs> and it's like when... you smack it in the yes. Yeah. <laughs> you smack it, and then like as soon as you smack it, the uh, ooze starts undulating, and then like like a piece of jello that has been melted in the microwave, it goes sploosh. It's dead. It's dead. Wow. I would like to action surge. Okay. <laughs> and attack. You kill steal at all, huh? This shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. I'm just like, I can't leave you guys alone <laughs> for one goddamn second. And I'm just like, rage. Us kick. guys, the rest of us were in the fucking. <laughs> I know. You! 
I'm completely aware. <laughs> All right, so that's it's your- It's just your girlfriend who fucked up. All right, hold on, hold yes. on. Uh, oh, 25. Melanie, hey. all right, so Melanie, um... Your sure, girlfriend and, uh... Sure. All right, so we'll, we'll take this one at a time. So that's a 22, we'll hit. Um, she's so 21, smart. we'll you know, hit. You don't blame your girlfriend no matter what. Um, all right, uh, when you first hit Melanie, um, there is a- yeah, when you first oh, hit the when I first hit. comma, comma. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie, Melanie. Okay. sorry, oh. I, um, <laughs> you will take. Uh, there is a surge of electricity that arcs oh, from shit. the ooze when you hit it through your okay. sword to you. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. I need you to take hurt me. <laughs> three important. lightning damage. Oh, uh, there is a uh, rain cloud that forms overhead. In a radius that is about this size. Give me a moment. <laughs> I'm waiting. On beta's breast. Uh, so it is a um, crawl creatures within. Okay. I so. mean, if it's a rain cloud, how big could it be? That big. Oh. Oof. I think it's it's casting cold lightning. I bet. Um, I need. Rain, control your clouds. Right. Rain, so all three of you are either wearing metal or holding a metal weapon. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need all three of you to make dexterity saving throws. Is this a spell oh, effect? Boy. This is not a spell effect. Fuck. Anybody want that 17? Invulnerable! <laughs> Fuck. Okay, uh, Ronnie. Even a, I might fail with, even with that 17, because that only makes it a 16 for me. Okay. All right. Uh, Melanie and Ronnie both fail. Uh, covered in ooze. Rain cartwheels away. <laughs> just, just slipping and sliding on some lube like a weirdo. <laughs> like a fucking what? slug. <laughs> Like, this isn't a normal Friday night. <laughs> uh, Ronnie, you will take 7 points of lightning damage. Melanie, you will take uh, 13 points of lightning damage. Alright, that's fine. Alright. Uh, your second attack connects. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. actually is in <laughs> so that is plus 23. Um, I need you to make <laughs> another dexterity saving throw. <laughs> All three of them? Yeah, all three of you guys. Motherfucker, Ray. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Good job, Ronnie! Right. You all oh save. Uh, Is he just pulling his little shell and hope for the best? But Melanie. Yes. I tucked my tail a little bit. It's but Melanie, bizarre. as you were taking another swing, I mean, the initial uh -huh. swing will do, like, damage to you because you're hitting the electrical ooze cloud. Oh, okay, um, okay. You, will, you will take six points of lightning damage, but you save from the rain cloud above. Okay. Uh, the third hit. Uh-huh. Uh, same verse, uh, um, like the second verse, like, oh, the, wow. Far whatever. Far. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so rain. Oh, you all fail. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So let's do Melanie's like hitting damage first. Uh, 11 points of lightning damage. Um, for Melanie. Alright, Ronnie. 13 points of lightning damage. Uh, oh boy. This is for the failed save, Melanie. 6 points of lightning damage. And Rain, you only take half because you have evasion, right? Yep. Alright, uh, 9 points of lightning damage. Round down to 4. It is still up! <laughs> How are you I'm guys Can I kill it? Down to double digits, guys. Uh, are you are you done with your turn? You action surge and you took your other attack and you moved. So unless you uh, want to move yeah. more. No, I'm good. Okay, Zaytari. Uh, Eldritch Blast. All right. Hold on, let that me make sure I'm really actually within range. <laughs> I'm fairly sure I am. I I can go 120 feet. So yeah. So, uh, Tilda and Zaitari, like, see Melanie nope. just wail on this ooze cloud, and it just keeps on sparking and sparking and sparking. Um, am I... I, <clears throat> I know I'm pretty far away, mm -hmm. but, um, 
did I see this happen? Yes. Uh, has anybody hit it yet before Melanie? Um, before Melanie? I hit it with a uh, magic missile. Magic missile. Yeah. Okay, and it didn't spark with that. No, it did not. All right. That was my question, because I don't want to kill Ronnie if I... I'm very close. You could very absolutely definitely kill me on accident. You'll be yeah. fine. I will I nine hit points. try to hit it cool. once. I got you. I got you, boo. <laughs> you guys Does a 15 hit? Uh, 15 will hit. It's pretty okay. easy to hit. Uh, subtract 5 damage from that total because okay. you need to take uh, off the hex plates. So curse 12. damage. Okay. Um, and it's not sparking with me doing that? Nope. Alright, I will continue to uh, basically swing my sword out in front of me as I send uh, two more blasts forward. Holy shit, I am rolling so low. Uh, you still... Well, the second one doesn't hit because that's a natural one. Uh, yeah. But th that, that, the, the 14 does hit. Okay. So this is not a very hard thing to hit. It's a, it's a cloud. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to move... 20 feet just to start getting closer to everybody. Okay. Rain. Can you move uh, that much? Yeah, I have 40 feet of movement. Oh, okay. I am going to back up a little bit. Um, out 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm going to get out my crossbow and shoot it. Okay. Crossbow bolts are wood, so. With what kind of tip? No, don't. Uh, <laughs> what I think of that? Do I... Roll an intelligence check. Mm -hmm. I, I'll give you, like, a basic, like... I'll give you a ten. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Mark. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. You're just going through metal, metal, metal. metal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to leave. Oh, I'm about to get out of there. Uh, I will hold my action to attack if Ronnie is not near it. Melanie still looks pretty hardy. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. All right, cool. Uh, Ronnie. I am looking bloodied and haggard and really awful. You look charred. I'm at 9 out of 90 hit points, <laughs> and I'm going to grab my bib and kind of give it a little flick and activate my Cape of the Mountain Bonk and <laughs> just poof away. Okay, you poof. And, and just go down here. <laughs> and that's... Someone else have this weird craving for soup. That's oh, my... Oh, no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotta get that you yeah. gotta get that like you know particular lightning charred turtle flavor uh-huh uh-huh i could feed many people for many many moons it's a good <laughs> but uh and bonus action shield of faith on myself <laughs> okay but wouldn't your meat be really tough wouldn't you have to simmer for a really long time it's worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of the yield. It's it's like when you go hunting. It's it takes a long time to process all that venison. But guess what? That's your winter. Plus, yeah, you got true. lots of you got that lots of like yummy turtle broth. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just cook me. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a conversation with that thing from uh, that cow from Hitchhiker's Guide. Mm -hmm. That wanted to be eaten. Oh, and then we could uh, turn the shell into a really effective shield. You could, actually. It's very large. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like a multi-person shield. Uh, yeah. Sorry. It's not uh, a shield. It's a plus four instead of a plus two. <laughs> um, I always forget. Uh, Rain, was that, is that including the sneak attack? Yes. Okay, so it is at... Uh... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Um... It's engaged no, it's from... order. Uh, the turn order might be an issue. So you told me to attack. I got it off my turn. Wait, did I not have a reaction? I might not have had a reaction to do that. Wait. No, no I you just my, had turn, your turn, my turn you is passed. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. yeah. Uh, it is still up, but barely holding itself together. Um, Ronnie boofed, and she would have faded, and, and Bogram's dead. Oh, it's its turn. 
Um, so the only, apparently the only target in the area is Melanie. So yep, okay. hovering there, uh, you have the Tiger. cloak. So it my cloak like is back up. So it will attempt to hit you. It does Between not. Its attacks and then the lightning damage from the storm in one round. I went from full health to nine health. All right, Cut. it cannot yeah. land a hit on you. You are too. Where was that energy when I was over there? Too swole. <laughs> Well, you kind you guys kind of did that to yourself technically because Melanie was. The I one who uh, I went a little ham. I had uh, I had the rage fever. I I was high off two kills and I just wanted to get that third. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's gonna like, float. It, it was gonna be Ronnie though. That was the problem. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna be the third death. One, two, three, four. That's all I can move. It just starts circling back. All right, Tilda, it's your turn. Sure, yep, uh-huh. Um, I will take out the Wand of Healing Word and send a little charge towards uh, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do one charge because I know he has his own healing uh, capability. Yes. Very fair. So. And I can do it better outside of combat, if need be. I mean, I can, if I need to, I can slap a heal on myself later. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I know you're, you're good. Um, and then I'm going to cast a Ray of Frost at the fucking thing. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so you hit the ooze, and it looks like that Ray of Frost did more damage than you thought because it freezes it, and then the pieces of the, well, the pieces of the gas who are now turned to solid, um, the cloud falls and just breaks. Nice. And you guys are out of combat. I should have been doing more cold damage. Sorry, guys. You, you, you didn't know. Nobody knew. Who knew that code with this guy is... The worst. Yeah, the worst. Um, just to let you know, the uh, the Wetland Ooze has a 12 intellect. Oh, a, 20, a 22 wisdom. An 18 charisma. <laughs> why? <laughs> what in the world? But a 5 dex. And why, and why is it... That ooze was like an archmage that got true polymorphed, and even true polymorph couldn't couldn't control its <laughs> true essence. It's true, or it's all of the DNA just slowly over centuries pulled from adventurers it's eaten has like just melded into it and given it just a little bit of an advantage. Yeah, Ublex style. Yeah, I mean it's as wise as I am intelligent. It's actually really impressive. <laughs> Do you guys have any qualms to me using a high level spell to heal myself? Uh no. Uh, no. I in fact Melanie is gonna go over to Ronnie. Ah, uh, Ronnie, I Ow. am Ow. very sorry. Ow. I was I just sort of caught up in the moment and I just, you know, ah! and I'm very sorry. I realize now that uh you got real electrocuted. I almost died. I am so sorry. I, I really am. 70 hit points to me. <laughs> I'm going to pick up the uh, portable hole and put it on its little slot on the belt. Um, so, why are we in this place? Kismet? I kind of look down to the... Uh, oh, uh... A little uh, tied around my uh, waist. Uh, my wrist. Let's see. Yeah, um, my stuff, I buried my stuff here. Here? Wait, is that your stuff that we just murdered? Mm, it, there might be some of it, and where you see, like, the ooze had died, there's, like, a, a variety of items that it has dropped. I was about to say, is there stuff that the ooze is dropping, the wetland ooze, or even the other ooze? 
we get a good loot drop, do we have to roll our ninja? <laughs> no, you, you can see it. I am going to type out everything you find. Um, let's see. Uh, so, you find 18 gold pieces. Uh, two platinum pieces. A... Slowly walk yeah. my way over to everybody else. <laughs> Welcome back, darling. Uh, that wasn't fun, being inside of that thing. Right, Rain? Nope, and I'm just, like, scraping it off my leathers, and, like, with the, with the dagger, and it's like... It's like a yeah. wipe. Like, uh, I can like only Asian imagine the horrible viscous... The base. I start pressing the hair. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna start Thank pressing you, hitting Jill. myself, and then helping Rain if she needs it. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, you know me. I do. That's why it's unexpected. Well, Rain's also also is known to do unexpected things, so mm. it's expected, but not at the same time. Paradox. Oh, An enigma. Bards too. But for those are good games, no. <laughs> um th all this stuff does have a monetary value if you'd like to like do further investigations. Um For the auction. <laughs> for the auction perhaps. Um let's see, and I need to do what's I'll take the navigator's tools. I don't have those. Yeah, I think, I think Ronnie gets a free first dibs. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, he has earned that. It's been a long time since I've dropped from completely full health to almost nothing in less than a full round of combat. Uh, do we just it's want to a uh, minute. Uh, the regular money into the uh, group fund? Yeah, we've been using the group fund a lot, so... Restock... Yes. Yeah, that's one of the um, <laughs> things that we're looking for. Uh, Kismet confirmed that that he uh, he stored it here. Uh, yeah, Kismet I'll... will point out that the the ship is one of the things he stole, and the square of woven cloth is his rook perch. Ah, okay. Uh, Brain, obviously, you can have that. Yeah, I'll take the uh, square over the Yep, I will give you the description for it. Just give me a moment. And I'll hold up the, uh, the, sh the ship of grass up to him. Like, uh, is this what we're looking for? Yep. I'll turn it around in my hand. That is what we are looking for. Oh, uh, Ronnie. Yes. Uh, when we get back to ship, do you think it would be possible to try to ask your deity for a few gallons of blood from a descendant of <laughs> the fucking I'll... demigod that we're looking for? Maybe talk to me a little bit later. Well, yes. When we get back to the ship. Yeah. Re Repropose this when we're back on the ship and I have not just been fried. Yes. Um, what's the name of the shark megalodon god? Yakovis. Yakovis. Thank you. Cycle is still at the top of my brain. It's real fucking annoying. No, Can... I was going to call him J Jabimbly. <laughs> Jabimbly? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not Jabroni? All right. No. Uh, can you spell that again? Uh, I'm putting it in my notes so that I don't forget. Yeah. Because uh... if I write it down, uh, I'm more likely to actually remember it. Thank you. Yep. All right. I will be right back real quick. Let me 
Megalodon God. Good bone to leave. Uh, and <laughs> the child's name is. Shadok. 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 Guys, Atari, can I remember our kid's name? What the fuck? Shadok. <sighs> She's Gemma not my Sportman. child. She's not my child. Let me make that perfectly clear. This is a Rain and Melanie problem. <clears throat> it might just be a Melanie problem. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie is apparently the kind of person that has all kinds of foster fails when she has foster cats and dogs. Just like I was fostering this kitten. Now I have a cat. Sending. Oh, One of my residents has a leak in their ceiling. Uh, no, that's not fun. My no, that is bad. <laughs> As we know from Rose issues, you can just ignore that. <laughs> oh, uh, too soon. At like ten years from now, it's gonna be too soon. <laughs> my maintenance guy texts me to let me know that he's at a resident right now working on a ceiling leak. So, but that's bad. <laughs> I would I would classify that as bad. I I am really hoping uh, that <clears throat> this plumber can come tonight. I mean, it's not that big of a deal because I'll just plug in my electric blanket for this evening. But I feel really bad for the guy who lives above me. He's like in his seventies, so. <laughs> What the hell? See, this shit right here. This is why Man Weekend is weird. Hold on. I think this will work. Mm -hmm. He's why are there dick cookies at Man Weekend? <laughs> what are they doing with themselves? Why are they so bumpy? I think that's supposed to be, like, ball hair? Yeah, I'm guessing it's supposed but... to be hair, but that's not... It's those those same... are ingrown hairs. It's the same color as the head! <laughs> Can't you just, like, dump some coconut on it and call it... <laughs> call it ball hair? Ooh, and then it would be, like, the ball hair of an old man. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right now, it just looks like it's a wordy ball sack. Oh, it's just somebody with robot HPV. So why is there an orange one? What skin tone is that supposed to be? <sighs> just working with the colors that they had. It's true. My my one friend, the wife of the host, has been uh, working on her cookie icing skills, and I think I see that she brought out the big guns. I I left. For a minute. <laughs> yeah. Why are there cookie dicks? Uh, because my fiance, uh, a straight man, went to Man Weekend with other straight men, and the host of the man hosting uh, is making wife, them eat dicks. His <laughs> wife, I think, fed them dicks. I'm pretty sure that his wife made those. So. Okay. I mean, yeah. I am. Well, okay. Some, some, <laughs> some people just like. Okay, um, that's fine. <laughs> to there's each their own. A straight man and a bisexual man is a six pack of beer. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's all the stuff you get. Where's this list? Uh, is it in... It, it's in the chat, above the dicks. Yeah, regular chat. <laughs> not, oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I had scrolled. <laughs> I I didn't. <laughs> see it because it was um i i was expecting a list in long and not in in fat don't worry about it <laughs> a collection of bard's tales like a book yep you're expecting something with uh less girth <laughs> okay mm. let's be real honest for a second about one of these items how fine could that silk possibly be at this point um apparently <laughs> enough that it's a fine bolt of silk still. Yeah, uh, there's a couple holes, but nothing a mending couldn't fix. Wow. 
it's not just the grossest, globiest, oozy. Okay, cool. That's good. Yeah, I'll mend those holes. Yeah. Uh, we'll I mean, it wasn't originally green, but. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could see. I would that... very much like to make a dress out of the bolts of silk. Yeah. Uh, there is one bolt of red, one bolt of green, and one bolt of blue. Well, there were that were their original colors. So, yeah, you can tell that from your mending and prestigitations of said um, silk. I would like to help myself to a worm tooth. Okay. Uh, you can. Let me actually get the loot. Loot guide. Um, I'm gonna give you a picture of what this thing looks like. How okay. do I do spoilers? <laughs> oh, just PM uh, it to her, it's fine. Okay. It's three of the straight lines up and down, not the backslashes, but the... And then three after. Uh, so this is, this is what it looks like, Lynn. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It definitely has teeth. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely gonna... has teeth. So glad I stabbed it. I'm gonna take a couple teeth. I would like to try to take one really, really big tooth, like the biggest tooth in there. Then I would like to take a smaller, more child-sized tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I can see her friends coming over now. What are these? These are bog worms teeth. Where did you get them? Mommy got Don't them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yes. Um Yeah. So it's it's just posting the picture or putting those three lines and posting the picture or posting those uh, three. Those three and then three to cover it at the end of whatever you want. Well, yeah, so oh. it's 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 just like uh wrapping it with things to make it bold and I see it's just uh you can also highlight the link right click and set and uh, oh have set a split I am bar. I am yeah uh, here we go it's just like a caterpillar on all the drugs it's like Ooh. Ugh. yeah that's definitely like a cracked out that would make a sweet tattoo thing. <laughs> I'm glad. No, I feel like if it was drawn or shaded the wrong way, those would all look like boobs instead of legs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It does look like it should be on I'm sorry, John. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. <sighs> Catch up, please. Um, okay, yeah, so does anybody <laughs> want to identify the ship? Or are you good? Uh... Um, well, we can I know probably bro. let's let's take all of the magical items and take them out of this hellhole. <sighs> yeah, yep. and uh, Rose uh, AFK right now, so we can do it when okay. we get back on the ship. Kismet. Um, yep. So there's not like you know another you know twenty thousand platinum buried underneath the sand here, is there? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I, I yeah, rather rather poor showing for the money. <sighs> You know, probably was eaten. Looks over at the ooze. <laughs> it looks like an old ass ooze. Um, I didn't have much buried here. I had several stashes actually. This was one of like the smaller ones. Uh, of course it was. Any more on this island? Uh, as far as I know, no. I think those are the only t like the only thing is I brought on were those magic items, small sack coins you know just in case i was on the run and i had to you know oh yes like from a god uh, who would punish you for sleeping with their children well i was thinking more of a noble but mm -hmm. yeah all right uh i say let's get the fuck out of here please i want to go take a nap <laughs> Uh, you guys head back to your rowboat, uh, where the ship <laughs> is waiting for you offshore, about a mile. Um, 
I assume Ronnie is not paddling this time. No. I, I've got it. I've got it. Uh, who's doing the second set of oars? I think we can just deal with Melanie. <sighs> okay. Uh, sounds good. <laughs> Uh, if needed, I will cast enhance. Well, yeah, sure. I'll just cast enhance ability on Melanie. Okay. Give you uh, the strength one. Is it strength or is it constitution? I think it was both last time. Which one do you want? Uh, whichever. Okay, I'll give you. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give you uh, bull strength. Okay. Uh, give me a strength check and then give me a dexterity check to see if you, like, don't make the oars go. Oh, that was a save. I'm sorry. Hold on. No. Oh. You have an, you have, you have advantage. advantage. Roll it again. <laughs> oh wow. You're you're okay. I just want to see how coordinated you are with these oars. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Um, and you quickly make your way back to the boat. Uh, when you get back on the boat, um, Captain Templast is like, Oh, good, I see you. What the hell happened to you? And he's looking at Ronnie. Uh, Are you alright? Uh, we were treasure you. hunting. I see. Um, dang. Do Just you gonna go the shocking situation. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap. So okay. do you wanna cool. use my bed? Um it's yes. probably yeah, you go you go you sleep there. Ronnie, real quick, real quick. Can you beseech Tyr for <laughs> a few gallons of Yukovis' blood? <laughs> Con conveniently delivered to us in a bucket. Don't these gods sometimes That's take things, really you know, specific. the wrong way. He's not listening right now. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> it's fine, you go do that. Check again later. I mean, <laughs> like, Tyr decided to give us a few gallons of blood by, you know, like, teleporting wire sharks in. That seems like a very... You want to think about when you ask that, I think. Uh, I'm fine with also... <clears throat> Sorry. I'm also fine with killing uh, some wire sharks. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that, too. Um, but, you know, time, place. I've been told these things matter. It depends. I just really... I really don't want to go on some crazy hunt to find these wear shocks. So... Alright, off to Haven. Let's go. Alright. Yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> Captain's like, You heard the lady Haven! And all the the, uh, the crew starts uh, trying to catch the wind to go towards uh, Haven. Which sits on the Farouk's River. Uh, Farouk's or Farox? Farox. So um, Alright. <laughs> I hope, I hope you, plumbing I comes. Hope, I hope the plumber comes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, Ketchup? You might have to snuggle with the cat for warmth. Uh... I'm almost assuredly. I'm almost definitely going to have to plug in my heated blanket for the evening. All right. So you guys head. Uh, you guys set sail for Haven. Back on the ocean. So nice. All right. Uh, so it will take you an additional. So you are on the Sierras. So. Uh, it will take you about one, about maybe three days to get to the mouth of the strait um, to Sierras. Okay. As you make your way down the coast, um, we can fast forward a few days. Oh, somebody's knocked on my back door. Hope that's the guy. I'll be back. While we wait for her, um, does anybody want to do anything uh, in the next two and two and a half days before you get to Haven or you get to the landmass of the wilds? I'm gonna keep praying for blood. No. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, such a thing to pray for. 
I am going to have, at some point, and I'm assuming she will do so, I'm going to have Zaitari cast Tongues on me and regale Shadok with the tail of the bog worm and show her my big tooth and give her the smaller tooth. Okay. Um, anybody else while we're waiting for Zaitari? Yeah, I've got a couple days to kill. I would like to try and find out just what the hell this weird health potion, chunky health potion, is gonna do. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, I, I mean, you, 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 you... I'll give some to, um, the cat. You're giving oh, some oh, to fish up. Ship cat. Oh, yep. the cat! The ship cat! That's a quick <laughs> way to get thrown off the ship, my dude. <laughs> Do we have this stuff for a resurrection spell? <laughs> I do, yeah. I can revivify the cat. All right, give me a, give me a second. I need to I need to go in my notes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ship cats are like really important to the crew. <laughs> I feel like this I is... don't know. Why did you make this choice? Like of all the things <laughs> to choose to feed the potion to. It's probably not that bad. You probably could have found, like, a cabin boy or something who would do it for 15 gold. Like. <laughs> yeah, like, get the crew drunk. They'll do it on a dare. Um, when did you get this potion again? This is the one that uh, she tried to improve. My... Oh, yeah. right! Okay, okay, okay. The chunky health potion. <laughs> to be fair, the cat may refuse to eat it. <laughs> I hope the cat does. Okay. Okay. He is in the basement. Uh, I, You know, I might have to get pulled away again, but... So, While um, we were gone, Rain made the worst decision possible. Oh no. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, nothing's happened yet. yet. I'm trying to figure out what this chunky health potion does. <sighs> Don't do that yet. Too late. Aww. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay. Oh, it. what? Oh, what would it? Okay. Give oh me. God. Give me a <laughs> second. That is how oh a group of sailors God. killed a face slaying rogue. So the the so the cat like sniffs the potion and get a sample and takes a lick and then suddenly it its body starts to shudder. Oh no! Oh, and it shifts oh, into. <laughs> it turns into a bug-eyed catfish. Oh <laughs> my god! Now there's a catfish on the ship flopping around. Uh, <laughs> I run upstairs with it to find a water bucket. You find a bucket. Oh my god! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Please tell me this is not permanent. Um, Do you know how many times I came close to feeding it to one of you guys? So this is not the worst thing that could happen. So Rain has a chunky health potion and wanted to see the side effects of said potion. So she gave some of the potion to the ship's cat. Aww. It turned into a catfish. Can I... Are you going to tell anybody about this, Rain? Because <laughs> um, I can try to dispel this. I, I'm, I, I'm going to go... Actually, I think I would go to Zaitara. <laughs> Okay. Because she is less judgmental. Role play, no, roleplay this to me. Um, you are going to explain this to me in character. Um, <laughs> so I take the bucket and I go <laughs> down into the ship because as Zaitari has been hiding down there because she doesn't want no more fish thrown at her from yep. random birds. Yep. And I um, knock on whatever cabin door we have. I'm like, uh, Zaitari, uh, Yes, come in. Uh, is anyone else in here with you? Kind of I look around. In. Doesn't look like it. I enter and I close the door. There's a <clears throat> slight problem, and mm -hmm. I kind of hold up the bucket. There's a cat 
fish in here that used to be a cat. What? Well, you know, a while back I was working on a health potion. You know, you all love my potions, so when I make them, they're very useful. Yes. Sometimes things go a little off. Uh This one, um, I didn't quite know how, so, you know, I figured I had a few days to kill, and I thought I'd find out what it did. And, Mm -hmm. you know, the uh, ship's I just happened to walk by, so I gave it a little taste, just a sample, to see the reaction. I, did, I figured if it, I could heal it if it was something truly horrible. Um, was not expecting this as the fish starts to flop around inside the bucket. Okay. I don't think they're going to be like this very much. Uh, well, let's try the most obvious answer. Uh, I will cast dispel magic okay uh i need to see if that works um if this doesn't work rain you're going to have to explain this to the captain have fun i mean do do i have i mean things happen things fall overboard they could have a pet fish we could make it an aquarium They've had this cat for a long time, and now it's a fish. I really, it, it should do better on the secret. Just... So, <laughs> unfortunately, nothing uh, happens. It should do oh, better. Not on even, the not even like an Arcana check to. You can do an Arcana check. Okay. Well, I meant more so like a you know a spell casting check to see if it would be able to be reversible. <laughs> So Dispel Magic does nothing. Yeah, Dispel Magic didn't do anything. Okay. Um, I'm going to give myself Enhance Ability. This is, what day is this? Uh, this have is you probably the rest? first, uh, yeah, you probably have a long rest. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just want to make sure because, uh, yeah, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability on you myself. You could polymorph it. <sighs> Back into a cat. That lasts for an hour. <laughs> but it'll get me out of the issue. <laughs> mm, just for an let hour. it like, wander. Just go over <laughs> sit on the captain's lap and then just drop the spell. Give we... myself. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we Fox are so is... cursed. Fox is coming. Okay. Oh my god. So. The reason you figure you, you you're looking at the fish and you're mm-hmm. prodding it and you yeah. figured, huh? It it just seems like the potion turned the uh, the cat into a catfish with the same kind of bulging eyes. Um, you've heard of spells like this before? Um, mm-hmm. It's a really old spell. You've only found descriptions of it. It's like using... So it's like as if something was polymorph and you're, mm-hmm. you try to revert it back to its true form. Mm-hmm. That's essentially what the potion did. It was a fucking catfish? Sorry, what? Either that <laughs> or maybe it somehow like reflected its, per- its true personality. Something like that. The, the, the potion I like the idea that there's some sort of rogue person, true polymorphing fish, like a <laughs> madman. But it's it just seems like it's reverted back to its original form. Okay, Rain. Yeah. Uh, we're going to the captain together. Because this is fucking weird. Maybe it's happier like this. Uh, listen, I can't just explain this to you. I have to explain it to the captain. Because you're going to look at me and go, what? Uh, so I need to know if there's a story with this cat. <laughs> um, so please, let's go. Should we get in the kitchen? No, we're taking it with us. <laughs> <laughs> I tromp along behind the Atari. Okay. okay. Uh, Ro, I'll, I'll give you the, um, the description for the grass ship and the thing. So... Like a kid being <laughs> taken to the principal's <laughs> office. Like, um, Alright, so you go and find the captain. 
Uh, and, Captain. Uh, oh, hello. Um, Can we speak in your quarters, please? Sure. Uh, he looks hello. at the bucket and looks at you guys. Uh, don't uh, worry about actually, it. Actually, Ronnie's sleeping. Um, I don't... Well, has Ronnie woken up at this point? It's been a day. Uh, I'm laying in bed because I can. Okay. I'm uh, old and I can. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie can be there. Ronnie uh, can be there. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. He c goes in. Ronnie, uh, you were probably sleeping. Um, he brings you two in. Uh, how can I? How can I help you? Why is you, there a fish you, in that bucket? Uh, your cat. Does it have like some kind of crazy backstory? Um. Not necessarily crazy. I mean, we found the cat on a deserted island. Uh huh. That's about it. It, it we okay. thought it was how, just how long ago was that? Um. What was that island? Uh, I, near near the Broken Isles. Um, there's there are a bunch of smaller sandbanks and that have turned into like islands. Um, over time, and we found we found her on one of them. Uh, this was probably about six years ago at this point. Okay. Okay. Um, Why? Do you recognize this catfish at all? Um, it just looks like a catfish. I look okay. it up a little bit. Does it hiss at me? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just goes... Put it back down. Okay, well, unfortunately, your cat has turned into a catfish. Uh, and apparently, this was its true form. Wait, that's fish eye? Yes. Uh -huh. How did this happen? Um, a very strange, unlucky, arcane mishap, unfortunately. Oh, Mar, Mar and Kitty are going to be devastated. Uh, I tried to reverse the effect, um, but after thinking on it and going over stories that I've heard, um... It seems that whatever was affecting Fisheye uh, has been removed already. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to build it a... Is a catfish. Yep, we're going to have to build an aquarium. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> we can't... Yes, it's uh, rather unfortunate, and there's no way I can... There's unfortunately no way I can make this permanent. <sighs> oh, I, I don't know. Oh, he just looks like... Oh. Oh. Just kind of hold the bucket out to him. He takes the bucket. Uh, I, Rain I, is terribly sorry. Aren't you, Rain? It horrible accident. Truly sorry. Uh, can can I can I be left alone for a minute? Of course. Thank you. But better to know, you know, <laughs> now than later. Know Sorry. that your cat is a catfish, or just that we turned it into a catfish? Both. Okay. I, I, I later has on explaining the story. It was always a catfish, apparently. I just, <laughs> it just soon after was revealed through total accident. <clears throat> This is so strange. I I I I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, what would have changed it in the first place? A curse? Uh, a, a wizard? Wizard? Yeah, wizards get bored, and they do stupid shit like make awakened cats that uh, are a breeding pair and inherit a wizard tower. So. Um, okay. They make owl bears and other unholy abominations. So, using all that hard found tested information to figure out what it does? Um, it, you think it reverts things to their true form. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, at the very least, I'll give, like, Rain a couple, like, reassuring pats on the back. At least, uh, it could be useful. Anybody. This will definitely um, stay in the mix, but uh, for um, special occasions where, um, yeah, I'm going to label yes. that one really well. I'm just going to mark it, you know, going to color in the top of the, uh, the file, you know. Hmm. 
I'm going to make another Arcana check because I'm having a stupid idea. Um, I'm just going to roll it and then I'll tell you what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, sure. Um, or no, I'll just tell you what I'm trying. One of the stupid idea I'm thinking of. Uh, that's backwards. Um, my cat's freaking out because there's <laughs> the guys in the basement. Um, so if this potion converts things to their true form, mm -hmm. if we <gasps> smear it on the marble, will it turn it back to Kismet? Um. Oh, that wasn't what I was thinking. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, roll an Arcana check. Idea. Twenty. Um. I mean, it couldn't hurt. You're it not sure. Could. I mean, you're not sure because so a god turn a god did this to him. No, oh, yeah, and I mean, like smearing it on something is not the same as ingesting it. So. Yeah, and you you are fairly certain his spirit is within the marble. Yeah. Um. Hey, look at Nani. What were you thinking of? You look like you had an idea. No. Well, we have you know a cursed kid that maybe that's not the true form. Mm. And but at the same time, I don't know that we. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea. It just was an idea, but not one that I really feel comfortable acting upon. Just think something that I thought, and I thought that's where she was going with it. But don't. Sure. Yep. I've already gotten off the hook for turning into a catfish, so you, yeah, still you, looking at the hook. Yeah. Tilda is very quiet. Especially when people start saying, wizards get bored and do stupid shit. <laughs> uh, that was that was uh, when me and Rain were okay. alone together. Because <laughs> I would like to point out... Yeah, Rain gets bored and does stupid shit. <laughs> Rain gets bored. Our rogue gets bored and does stupid shit. Tilda yeah. does not get bored and do stupid shit. Listen. But there are other wizards that are literally known for having gotten bored and done that weird shit. Stupid. I mean, isn't that what owl bears came from? Yes. Also, uh, given a large enough, given a long enough time scale, going through enough clones, uh, I feel like a wizard has a propensity for doing really weird shit. You uh, get that much arcane power, you're like. Well, what can I do with it? I mean, Let's you guys, try everything. I mean, well, you guys, apparently, you guys met that tiger peed. Yeah, that too. Apparently, Rain gets that much power and is like, <laughs> "Let's feed it to a cat and see what it does." Honestly, none of us are gonna. None of us are gonna write that off because I was real dumb. So, yeah, that was uh... exceedingly. Stupid. All I'm saying is that it's not just wizards. Oh no, I get it. I'm just okay. saying, like, this oh. is definitely arcane bullshit. Ronnie, when you wake up, you see Captain Templas staring into a bucket with a fish inside. <laughs> is it telling your fortune? Or? No. Fish eye turned into a catfish. What? <laughs> <laughs> your friends told me it was an arcane mishap. Fish eyes a catfish. God. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna tell Mar. I'm not gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna tell Kitty. <laughs> oh, could we uh, maybe Kitty is a kitty. I'm gonna look down and walk over and look at the catfish. He just goes. Uh, I don't know what I can do to help. I think I'm gonna have to build an aquarium. I can't just let her into the ocean. She'll get eaten. Well, that and die. Also, it yeah, might not, be, it might not be. It might not be saltwater. <laughs> Catfish are not saltwater fish. Um, let me. Uh, <laughs> up, um, I'm gonna greater restore the catfish. Okay. Oh, that might do it. Let me see if that will work. <laughs> <laughs> just reach till I poke it. It's like, please, 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 please work. Uh, Here's the thing, though. If it got changed back to its true it's form... It's in a bucket of water. Oh, that's such... That's so complicated. Alright, so... Sure, sure. 
<sighs> so, I mean, the weirdest <clears throat> thing happens, Ronnie. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You no. cast Restoration. <laughs> I can't believe I pulled... So... What did you do to this cast, Aaron? <laughs> so, it shifts... <laughs> And for a minute, you think, oh, it's turning back into a cat. And then you, like, look, you guys look at it, and it looks like the cross between a cat and a catfish. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Heal. <laughs> <laughs> and it hops out of the bucket, but it still has scales. Oh. oh. But you know what? This might not be that bad. And it's still it's it's still very fish like. Fish eye wasn't like the prettiest Persian cat. It had the bulging eyes anyway. Mm -hmm. But the mouth is kind of different. It's got that like <laughs> wide lip mouth. This and, is so fucking weird. And and Wait. then and then Tunk Captain Tablas is like, I don't know if this is any better. Wait. <laughs> At least it can you just make the fucking animals that they ride around in uh, the Mighty Nine when they go to Jorhas and they buy the more weird pounders. ass. The more pounders. Yes. I just made a very tiny war bounder. Oh and he's, he's just looking at it like that helps a little. Can, can I tell if it's in pain? Um, <laughs> you make a medicine Help check? Me. Help me. <laughs> It, oh God. I, it doesn't look like it's a pain. It's still. But cats are notorious for being. Yeah. Uh, good at hiding pain. Yeah, I'm gonna reach down and poke it on its forehead and cast heal. Okay. <laughs> See if that helps. Yeah, does it actually meow? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't Aaron, know. You have to explain to us after this game is over okay. the backstory of this cat. I have to know. <laughs> um, You're but yeah, it, it looks like a like it's a cross between a cat and a fish, but not a catfish. This is so fucking weird. Um, it's a mermaid cat, a mer cat, if you will. Oh my god! And, and he's like, not I, a mere cat, a mer cat. I. <sighs> It just goes. Okay. Right. Here, give me your fish. I'm gonna pick up fish eye. I'm gonna sit cross legged on the ground, and I'm gonna cast commune. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I almost died, and now I've helped give birth to an abomination. This is why I've never had children. <laughs> Apparently, all it took was a rogue and a cleric to make a new hybrid form. This wasn't your fault, Ronnie. So, three yes or no questions. Is Fisheye in pain? No. Is Fisheye happy? Yes. <laughs> if I use greater restoration, will he go back to being a normal cat? No. Oh, God. <laughs> He's happy. You're all welcome. He seemed well. pretty miserable before. He was an angry cat. Well, Captain. Um, some good news and some bad news. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can make Fish Eye a cat again. Okay. What? What is she? I don't know. But happy. the good news is she is happy and she is not in pain. That's good. I was laughing too hard, and the cat came in and yelled at me. That's sorry, Leia, but that... you're not an abomination. I need to find somebody to draw yeah, this kitty, thing. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> this is the worst. No, this is uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna set set fish eye down. Uh, this is the closest thing I can find to what you've created, <laughs> except it's not as cute. <laughs> I. I... Hated so much. <laughs> <laughs> You've essentially made an aquatic cat. Congratulations. Thanks, I love does it. it? Seem, <laughs> does it seem like it's still a beast? Has its creature type changed at all? I roll a, uh, <laughs> well, it's an abomination now. <laughs> uh, I wonder how we're going to find out if it's Faye. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh, Don't you? <laughs> Um, rolling Arcana check. And both are equally bad, so... You're not sure. It's, I guess it's more like, not as cute, so I guess it's more like this, technically? Maybe with bogier eyes and like a... Yeah, it looks, that looks more feral. Yeah. So yeah, um... Fish, cat, let's see what I get. <laughs> Look, I drew it for you all. Congratulations. <laughs> um, well, cap the captain says, Behold Thank and wonder. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. I'm g I've, I gotta still explain this to Kitty and Mar, but thank you. At least, at least she, she can walk around the ship now? <laughs> <laughs> I... I, I don't know what happened. I am sorry. It's 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 fine. Just no more magical mishaps, please. I was asleep. Uh... I was asleep. I was in here taking a nap because I, I almost died. I know. I know. I, 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 I know. You've had you've, magical mishaps. You, you've you've had a very rough day. I think we and you you hear. <laughs> what do I even feed? Okay, um... Can't fish. feed fish! <laughs> I'll figure something out. Fish eat fish. I'm fish gonna have to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, go, I'm gonna go tell the rest of the crew not to throw fish eye overboard. <laughs> oh, I found, yeah. I found an interesting one. <laughs> Is it oh. as good as my lovely portrait? Wow. Um... No, obviously not. <laughs> I find the fact that you do not appreciate my lovely portrait. Oh, no. No, oh, no. no. I, I appreciate it. I'm just seeing what I can find online. Because <laughs> sure. I am mm -hmm. infinitely curious if anybody has drawn anything even close to this. I mean, the cat with the legs on the beach, I think, is uh, the best. I About, know. yeah. The closest to... Uh... It's captured the right amount of fish eye energy. Um, it, it has. It really has. I'm actually <laughs> getting some interesting stuff. <laughs> so you guys, you guys are um, talking. Um, yeah, <laughs> and Ronnie is now awake and has used commune. Um, Shadok is just hanging around. A couple minutes while y you were talking, there's a. Uh, there's now a Shaddock with a fish cat creature on her head. Oh, oh, I don't know if we should do that with living things. That's, I mean. Ma. <laughs> she ain't happy. So I mean, she's not fish. holding in there. Wow. Is, is the cat, like, cool with this? Cat doesn't seem to mind. Just kind of, like, yeah. perched there. Okay. We'll let this happen. <laughs> I found a shark dog. <laughs> oh, dog fish are everything. Um, uh, so, anybody want to do anything on the second day? I don't think anyone should do anything else. I don't know what's going to happen, <laughs> but I feel like... Yeah, too much chaotic energy happening already. <laughs> Frightening. Um, Alright, so the next day passes without incident. I feel like she's just taunting us. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty that's a pretty good rendition, actually. Very close. The head looks a little goofier, but very close. Oh, absolutely. Obviously it would be more bug eyed. Alright. So I'll talk to Tilda alone. Okay. Uh, for a moment. Yep. So, um mm. it probably won't work, but um if it restores things to its true form, maybe it might help your father in law. Oh. I don't know if it's so much restoring as it would be repairing, but something to consider. I mean, 
It would be. Your day late and a dollar short, darling. Did that get fixed? I thought it didn't get fixed yet. I thought we had to go back. No, to we're on the way to I... get something to fix this. It. it... Well, I if we don't it. get it or something, you know. It's... Yes. Maybe it might help. I don't know. It, it's certainly something. Well, to try. Keep it in mind. Right. Um, thank you. I'm sure Theodric would appreciate it. Uh, I'll nod and just leave the borders or whatever. Just, just kind of bolt her aside for a moment. Okay. All right. So the dancing lady slowly floats down uh, the street. Uh, as you guys are going through the strait, you know, another day passes until you are at the mou mouth of the... Someone's having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you are strolling down the strait, you soon approach the mouth of the Ferox River. Large crocodiles line the banks of the riverbeds with jaws wide open and white birds picking at their teeth. Um, there are a number of primates swinging from the trees, howling monkeys, uh, swing from them, dislocating vines and, um, oddly colored flowers, uh, that nest within the trees. Uh, the longer you travel down the <coughs> river, the more humid it starts becoming until it feels like you are just hitting a wave of a curtain of moisture. Um, from this point, it takes about half a day to reach Haven. Uh, while this is all happening, many of the crew who have gone off their ships are merely um, having dinner uh, and just, just watching the landscape change. Uh, the majority of the ship has never been this far south. Um, from time to time, you see Shadok just looking around the environment, um, pointing at things. Rani, she's been asking you, uh, what is that thing? What's that thing? What's the big... Po asking, like, what the crocodiles are, and do you guys see river otters playing on the banks? Um, there are just a variety of different uh, waterfowl that sits uh, on the water's edge and on the shore. Um, also, you see a, the carcass of a half-eaten mammal of some sort and carnivorous fish feasting upon it. She is very intrigued. Um, whenever you cast tongues on somebody, she will ask per the person the same things. Um, it doesn't take much longer until you reach uh, the outpost known as Haven. Uh, when you get there, there is uh, two docks, um, just big enough to do for the brig to dock. The houses here look like they're built upon stilts and it takes ladders to get in them. Um, it looks like maybe this area floods frequently, so the houses are built above and so, so the water would flood, and then they're just merely um, above the water line. Um, you see that there are people on the shore near the docks uh, gutting and scaling river fish, putting them out on straw mats and letting them dry in the hot sun. Um, there are multiple people um, that have portable cookware that make food uh, for the people that are working on the day. Some of these individuals load the whatever they make onto large, into large baskets and either carry them on their head or they attach two baskets to a pole and start leaving the outpost into the jungle um, on worn paths. Um, one of the jarring things um, as you are starting to dock onto the shore is there are many I suppose what the more ignorant people would call um, you know they're civilized folk for but the quote unquote uncivilized folk um, 
as some people would call them, or the indigenous population, um, made out of, you know, there's half-orcs, there's goliaths, you see a couple halflings, uh, an elf here and there. Many of the people native to this region look like they don't wear much clothing. Um, in fact, the majority of the indigenous population, uh, men and women alike, are going uh, topless. Um, there are children that like run along the out, run in the outpost, just like either they're barely, they're not dressed at all. They're just like three year olds and whatnot. Um, and you can also tell by the, uh, variety of tattoos, uh, the clay beaded jewelry and wooden jewelry that they are probably of the wilds and not from the north. Um, and then you guys dock uh there is a dock master uh that looks like where am I? where's my dock master there it is uh there is a half orc dock master who talks to captain templast they look like they're sorting out like how long are they're, they're staying and what they'll need and how much the dock fee is but you guys <coughs> are more than welcome to um go about haven and just captain templast says um yeah so we'll dock here for as long as you guys need and yeah just i'm giving the the uh, crew some um, a short shore leave, so take your time, and I'll see you guys soon. What do you guys want to do first? How has the crew adapted uh, to their new cat's farm? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Um... Fish eye. I mean, it it gets it takes some getting used to. Um, I mean, they're still kind of surprised that you know they pet the cat and scales, not fur. Mm. Um, but that's an unpleasant experience. Yeah, but they're yeah. they're getting used to it. Um, she's not getting as many weird looks anymore. But you know, she how is she not getting as many weird looks? Because you guys have been on the ship for a couple of days, so everybody. Oh, I thought you used. meant then when she was in her cat form, <laughs> and I was like, how is this no more normal than a cat, guys? But okay, I get it now. Um, <laughs> and she's you've actually noticed that she's become um more nimble. Uh, in her new form, she actually caught a seagull mid mid flight um, at the at like when it s s tried to swoop down low, and apparently she's having a hard time eating it because catfish don't have the sharpest teeth, so you kind of have to tear into it with its claws. It's 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 it was weird, um, Do but we yeah. Have to make dentures for the cat. <laughs> And when no. I'm on the deck showing Kismet around, how does it react to me to terrain? Indifferent. It's fine. That's that might as well be a love letter for cat fish. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so who gets to name this new uh species that we've created? Ronnie or Rain? That's a good question. It's gotta be an R name though, obviously. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Welcome back. How's Coda? Uh, Coda's fine. Uh, the guy finished up in the basement, so he left. Uh, that's why I was gone for an extended period of time, because I put my clothes back. But, um... Is it warm again? No. Uh, he oh. has to replace the gas valve tomorrow, but he did Aww. some work downstairs. Uh, so it's gonna be, gonna be chilly tonight. Uh, oh well. <laughs> that is why I have the electric buckets. So you guys are in Haven. Yay. What would you guys like to do? So for Rain, the moral of the story was, you know, she saved a cat from eternal torture in its false form. <laughs> but she got out of the whole situation. Uh, I want to try to find a guide. Okay. For where we're going. All right. 
Um, you, you know, you ask around. Um, so, you have, uh, you have, um, the best place to find a guide, the locals say, is going to Traver Traveler's Rest. That is the only okay. inn slash tavern in the outpost. Um, you can probably find a guide there. That's where most people venturing into the jungle find one. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it is a, um, it's run by a gentleman named Timothy. Um, okay. yeah, you can't miss him, they said. He's the Goliath behind the bar. Timmy the Goliath. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Do we know anyone in Haven? You don't know anybody in Haven, but you know there's a commune not too far away from here that the rangers are starting to build up. Okay. And apparently, I don't know if you know who's uh, the head of that one. Um, there is I, a... did, I did uh, send, a met, send a sending to... I can't remember her name. Um, Eagle Eye? Yeah, asking if she had any recommendations, yeah. but she did not. Yeah, she didn't. Um, they, the locals also tell if you need any supplies. Uh, there is uh, Jones's Bait and Things. It is a general store um, run by Joseph, Joseph Jones, because the family was not creative. Um, if you need more, if you need uh, medical healing um, for when you get out of the jungle, uh, there, Dr. Carolyn uh, Finkeltoom is available to help. Help. She runs a small temple out of her home. Uh, she is a cleric and a medicinal woman of sorts. Cleric to whom? Um, the locals say that uh, she is a cleric of Narlis Analor, so I will put that into the chat. It's vaguely ring kind of bell in my head and I And, um... Does that ring any bells? Uh, roll a religion check. I also... Religion check. Okay. Not great, but not bad. Um, probably a, a, a minor god. Um, nope. yeah, Zatari, you're not sure who she is. Um, under Sahinine, one of Sahinine's, uh, um, domains... You're not too familiar with her because she's, you know, she's a minor god, so she right. has a smaller following than Sahina. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, what are you guys doing? Are you all going to the inn? Um, uh, sure. I mean, I am, so. No, that's fine. Yeah, ready, I'll go. Okay. Alright, so you guys head to the inn. Uh, the inn is not the largest inn in the area. Um, it is sort of like, there is a, um, they don't have private rooms. They kind of have like a bunk bed type of situation, a common room for people to sleep. Because usually people just come in, sleep, and then go out like the next day or two to do whatever they need in the, the jungle. Um, a lot of people here are laborers, um, adventurers of all types. Um, the, actually the busiest area is the bar, which is situated inside, but inside is more like a, like, it, it seems like more of like a covered patio type of deal. Um, there are very fine nets that, uh, that line the um that make curtains to the outside um there is a a, a very large goliath man um seems very quiet for a tavern keep um just quietly pouring drinks listening to one or two workers and you know taking taking orders as they come in <laughs> Ooh, 
It's all right, guys. Okay, you're good. Uh. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, Excuse me. Can I can I help you? Uh yes. Uh are you Timothy? I am. Um well we were told to come speak with you. Mm. Uh we're looking for um a guide mm -hmm. for the jungles. Oh, ah, well you can't um uh, I mean you'll find one here. It kind of like points around. There are a couple of people who Offer your services as uh, guides. Depends on where you're trying to go, though. The wilds is a pretty big place. South. Um, How south? Is there a map that is there like a map that I can? Yeah, you, there's like a very crude map um, on on the wall. Okay. Um, and didn't didn't Belzor give us a map too? He gave you a location. Um, okay. Churning Bay. Okay. Um, uh, Churning Bay. Oh, hmm. And you see him frown, and he starts like, like he starts rubbing his wrist and looking around. And you say like poking up from his sleeve, you see um, a series of tattoos, um, but they don't look like they're made in the traditional style uh, from where you're from. They look mm -hmm. the lines look much much thicker and a little more uneven. Um, he says, well, that probably narrows down your selection. Um, I might imagine. Yeah, not many people want to go that far south. Um, well, he, he points out three individuals. Uh, there is a half-elf woman, um, who's rather, you know, plain looking, has a lot of freckles, like a flattish nose and a high forehead, uh, with a uh, like dirty blonde hair, um, he points. So that's Abby. Um, okay. She might be able to help you. Um, he points to another individual. He's wearing leather and um, he's wearing like a uh, a like a heavy like cowboyish style leather hat. Um, that's Williams. He might McCree? be able to help. <laughs> Oh, and he and the, he points he motions to the back to a pretty woman with a dark skin mm -hmm. and um braided like braided hair um like, mo like with tiny like multiple <coughs> tiny braids but the sides of her head are shaven and that's um Shillin. she might be able to help you i don't think and he kind of motions to the rest of the Bar, I don't think the others would be able to help you much. They're more, um, they're more, they're, they go to, like, they go south, but not that far south. And quite frankly, I don't think they want to go further south. I doubt people do. Yeah. yeah. Probably only us crazies. <laughs> um, but I think those three are your best bet. Um, do you guys... Uh, how, much, hmm? how much is a drink here? Depends what you're drinking. Um, I mean, alcoholic, non-alcoholic. Uh, can I get around for the three people you pointed out to me? Yeah, sure. Uh, so if you're do just doing ale, um, nine copper? Sure thing. All right. He poured I'll out give him a matter. silver piece. Oh. Right. And... oh, yeah, I have money. It's... Yeah. Uh, and he, he looks to you, Tilda. Uh, can I help you, miss? Uh, yeah. Tilda will just kind of lean forward on the, the counter. I assume there's, like, a desk Yeah, there's or a counter. Like um, it's just, like, a piece of plywood that's been made into a counter. Mm, okay, so she's not leaning too heavily. Mm -hmm. uh, but she kind of leans in conspiratorially, and she's like, Do you have a personal recommendation for which of the three of which of the three yes oh uh, abby he she's a little like ju the way the the person who i think it's the best to guide you or like personality wise or um you can you're allowed to uh choose the rubric ah, okay um i either go with williams or shillin um, 
Williams, he probably won't cost as much because he's kind of in for the adventure. Shillin has brought, numbers-wise, more people back from the South than the other two. And, um, since he brought it up, what sort of personality do or does uh, this Shillin uh, Shillin is, she's pretty quiet, even by my standards, um, only needs, uh, she, it's, it's almost like she has a limited word usage per day. She won't talk, she won't talk until, uh, unless you need her to, mm. um, but she's, as far as I know, she's pretty knowledgeable. She's no-nonsense. All three of them are no-nonsense because things out there will get you killed. Um, she's the one I know least about. She keeps to herself most of the time. The other, w Williams is pretty chatty. Abby's kind of rough around the edges. But she's, she's a nice woman if you get to know her. Um, but yeah, Shillin's... I think she's just, you know, very fo- I think she, I guess she's just very focused on her job and doing it well. Okay. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Listening to all of that, I'm going to hand a tankard to Rain and a tankard to, uh, Tilda. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go talk to Shillin. You two can pick. You first. I look to Zelda. I suppose I'll take um, the cowboy. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> If we can get his father to help us for free. <laughs> yeah, see a professor too. All right, I'll head over towards uh, Abby, the health elf, half elf woman. Okay. Uh, what's Melanie and Ronnie doing? <laughs> um, <coughs> just watching. <laughs> yeah, Melanie is tired from. I'm just assuming stopping so many almost painful events in the past couple of days around Shaddock. And so she's kind of just chilling. Being a, a parent. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Ronnie's finding a comfortable position that he can sit in and close his eyes for a little bit because it's nice and warm here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to bask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Yeah, the, the area smells, like, really good because everybody pretty much does their cooking outdoors. So there is, like, a variety of um, foods being steamed in, like, large jungle leaves. Um, there are, even, even in the tavern, like, the smell of, like, coconut milk and chili, like, chili and spices like waif out from the kitchen um yeah and there's there's no there's no shortage of like seafood around here uh fresh water mainly um it's a couple of you Ronnie, hmm? a mental note ronnie makes a mental note that if if he survives to retirement he wants to retire here <laughs> <laughs> like the the most po one of the more popular snacks is like um, the the dried uh, the dried out fish you saw, but it's like dried out to the point where it's um, and then deep fried, so it's like super crunchy. So mm -hmm. people eat them like like bar snack foods, uh, with heavily salted with uh, pepper and uh, salt and some kind of. Uh, Cumin kind of tastes uh, like smoky paprika spice, um, but all right, let's go with. Um, so you're sleeping. Melanie's just trying to keep Shadok out of trouble. I'm just trying to keep this child alive. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Rain, you go over to Abby, 
and Abby, you know, there's a tankard of ale that's been placed in front of her, and she looks up, and she, like, cocks an eyebrow. Um, there is no smile on her face. She is kind of, like, a little... And she looks up at you. I assume this came from you? Uh, from the whole group. The whole group. Uh, ah, whole group. So, adventurers. Uh, we do look the type, don't we? Just look at our... You are you are a varied group. I'll, I'll tell you that. Well... Take the seat opposite. Before she even asks. Just park it. Where are you going? South. Far south. One T area. Yep. I know. Why did it have to be snakes? Uh, any particular area down there? Rain would remember. It's Churning Bay. Uh, we're going to be heading near to, um... Turning Bay. Are you after that 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 emerald statue like the rest of them? Mm, well, me personally, I quite enjoy a statue. Mm. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut to the chase um, since you know. Uh, so I don't know the area. I know the area, and I can get you through it. If you're looking for the city of scales, that might be a little harder. Um, but I can make sure you guys... I won't sugarcoat it. I can make sure most of you guys stay alive. <laughs> Whether you find the statue or not, I can't really guarantee that. My rate is 15 gold per day. And uh, if you have to leave one of us behind, how much uh, does it cost to buy that service? If, if I have to leave <laughs> I mean, one yes, of you so... behind? Yeah, how, how do we in buy the insurance to make sure we're not left behind? I'm just uh, being a smart ass. Um, well, for me personally, I go by survival of the fittest. So if one of you has no legs, I ain't carrying that your ass if I have to go through a mountain or something. Oh, we have a cleric for that. <laughs> <laughs> I can respect that. So, 15 gold pieces per day. Get most of us there. Yeah. Anything else you can tell us over those? Or, or uh, mention the things they may not mention themselves? Uh, yeah. Um, Wyoming Williams might get you killed oh, because Jesus of his fuck. fucking <laughs> lust for adventure. Um, Wyoming Williams, Indiana you. Jones, kill me. <laughs> what the fuck is a Wyoming? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, he, he's a he's a plain he's a planeswalker. <laughs> Must be. Um, I mean, I I probably keep, especially between me and Williams, I'm probably more level headed of the both of us. Shillin, I can't really tell you much about her. I don't know much about her at all. Um, she just takes adventurers, goes down, brings them back. She... I have the feeling that if the the money is enough, then she, if you were wanted to, for example, you can hear this from me, but if you wanted to go, you know, sacrifice somebody and brought them down, I don't think she'd be bothered by that. She doesn't really have a very good moral code. But that's the impression I get from her. Flexible, then. Yes. Yes. Most of us <laughs> um, are, but her more so, I, I assume. I've seen some... She's taking she she takes just about anybody who's willing to pay her price, but I I'm me and Williams are a little more selective. Williams, Once. yeah. Have any of you ever worked together before? Once, I tried I tried um. I tried working with Williams once. <laughs> uh. But. That was once was enough. Once was enough. I don't feel like getting chased by a giant boulder down a tunnel again. 
Oh my god. Yeah, she takes a hard. long sip from her pint. <laughs> I'll ask her a few more questions, but I think I got the gist of it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, all right, since Tilda, you're fading a little bit, uh, we'll go with uh, Williams. Mm. <laughs> all right. Um, Tilda will very quickly take her um, wedding ring and like turn it so that the diamond is on the inside of <laughs> her palm. Yep. Um, and then saunter over. She will flirt lightly with William. Okay. Not in a way to lead him on mm -hmm. to think that she's actually available, but just in kind of like a complimentary way. Okay. Uh, 1930s back to adventure banter style. Sure. Yeah. Uh, when you approach a table, he's he will tip his hat at you, and he he says, "I didn't expect such." Lovely company today. Can I help you, miss? Oh, you're too kind. Uh, well, considering uh, Tilda does not feel very attractive in her, like, she's wearing, you know, crap clothes for yeah, her. True. And it's, like, it's humid as hell. And yeah. And it's, like, the, the, the humidity is not treating your hair well. It's, no, it it's, is not. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, it's kind of like a, it's a disaster show with the air here. Yeah. Um, so, oh, you're too kind. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm... Tilda will basically uh, kind of uh, suss out who um, Wyoming Williams <laughs> is okay. in terms of like his personality and you know whether he um, I, I can't think of you know role RP right now. I'm, okay. Um, I'm too tired. Okay. <laughs> um, let's Roll an insight check to see, like, you know, you, you guys will start the conversation. Roll, let's, for brevity's sake, let's roll an insight check to see what you get out of him. Like, okay. what kind, like, the type of person he is. Yep. And whatnot. Give me a second. My character sheet um, decided to go away. So now I'm going to reopen it. Give me a second. There we go. Insight. Okay. Um, he. So. You get the feeling that he is good at what he does. I mean, he doesn't. He bragged just enough mm -hmm. about his accomplishments. Uh, for you to get the feeling, okay, he knows what he's doing. Um. He. There's a little more. I guess. There's uh, some flair uh, in his movements. Um, he's definitely knowledgeable. Um, mm. He knows about plant life, the wildlife. He knows the area you you want to go to because he's been there himself quite a few times. Um, his weak points might be um, actually confrontation, like the fighting aspect. He's much better at escaping situations. He'll fight if he needs to um, from the stories he tells, but he prefers, especially because, especially with the area you're, go you're going in, he prefers to avoid fights if he can. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a bad skill. Yeah. Um, he, he has also his weak point might be. Uh, he glosses over some of the traps he's encountered in some of the ruins to the south. Mm -hmm. Probably because he's probably not as good as, say, somebody like Rain at disarming traps. Okay. Um, he does mention getting chased by a boulder at one point, too. Doesn't mention that he was with Abby, though. 
I get the feeling at that point he's hiding a little bit of something. Maybe he's really like a little embarrassed about that incident. Mm. Um, he tells you that his uh, he charges 18 gold uh, per day or 5% of whatever treasure you find. Hmm. Um, yeah, but he is more or less uh, a individual who isn't necessarily enticed by the monetary value of artifacts and such, but the history behind them is more oh, important okay. to him. Interesting. Yeah. It belongs in the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Um, but that's what you get from him. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm... That's okay. Yeah. Um, Shillin. Yep. Uh, so Mallory, you go. I cast over... Owl's Wisdom on myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have advantage on insight checks. <laughs> For the next Just in case. Okay. Uh, so you go and speak to uh, Shillin. Yes, uh, I she, will. She looks. Sit down. Yeah. Um, she she looks up at you. Um, is and she kind of looks to. Oh, I see. So. What can I help you with, dear? Uh, me and my party are looking to take a trip to uh, Churning Bay. Mm. Okay, said it right. Cool. I see. We need a guide. Mm. Okay. Um, City of Scales, I assume. Yes. Hmm. A uh, statue, or is there something else you're looking for down there? Uh, I'll be honest, something else, but a uh, statue might be a nice bonus. Hmm. Okay. And... Hmm. Something else. What might that something else be? Uh, you, you probably... If you want to tell uh, me, you can. If you don't, then... I don't want to get into too many details, but it's a particularly rare magical artifact. Mm. Is it within the city? Is there yes. somebody who you know has it? Yes. Can I get a name? Um... Belzer told us a name, right? Yes. Uh, I know it was very snaky. <laughs> I just can't remember it. Um, he told you... Let me see if I can find it. He had a lot of S's, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, or some Z's, I can't remember. Large kind of goes... Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Jaxitis. Yeah, ah, that's it, yep. You you say that? Yeah. You... Roll an insight check. Hell yeah! I was just about to say you were hesitating. I want to make an insight check. <laughs> All right. She looks at you. Her eyes narrow. That. <sighs> well, that is. Very... Hmm... The way she's reacting, is it, like... There's some uh... interest that, 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 that you, that you seem to get from her now. Okay, interest as in, ooh, this name, I haven't heard it in a while. I'll lead these people to kill, like, to <laughs> their deaths. Or, ooh, this name. I haven't heard it in a while. I want to kill him. <laughs> it's more like, ooh, this name. How do you know that name? Oh, okay. Because uh, you, you're, she's like, you're not from around here. 
That's more of uh, a around here name. Let's just say we have very good information. Hmm. Uh, we know what we're looking for, and we know that uh, this man has it. If you can call him a man. Uh... Creature? I mean, you're going into... This is more than one sea territory. You're going into one... You're going to undead territory. Yes, uh, we've heard. I can definitely get you there. Um, and I assume you have means of tracking this object? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Um, we also have a ship that will get us uh, as close as possible to before the we have to go inland. That's good. Uh, you don't want to go through the jungle. It's No, we bad. don't really. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'll tell you what. Um, I operate about... I'm about 16 gold per day. Mm -hmm. I'm about... Or... 8% of what you find. Okay. We can negotiate that. Um... I'm not gonna lie, that's a very dangerous area. Like, more so than than what normal normally people, like, normally people down there that want to go down there go for the statue. And as far as I know, nobody's found it yet. But you're going after uh... I know, bad shit. Yeah. I can I can get you there. But if you encounter him, I don't have any guarantees. Oh. No, we can handle that's, ourselves. Okay. Well, those are that's my offer. Um uh, and about how many days do you expect from the uh, sh from the shore? Yes. You see you're counting. I can get you to the general area in about three days. Okay. Uh, what are your capabilities? Um, well, I am... My area of expertise is on... is on Wanti. I... Convenient. Very much so, since that area is my expertise. Th that area down south is my expertise. I've run into more of them than I than I've liked, so I know some of their capabilities. Um, I stay away, rightly so, from the more dangerous ones, especially the magic casters. Dwanti and magic are a nasty combination. Um, <laughs> You know, I heard the craziest, silliest conspiracy theory from a friend when I was uh, asking around trying to get recommendations or even just mm -hmm. hiring on a guide before we even left. And he said that you want to are uh, taking on the forms of human and infiltrating society. And I'm going to make an insight check to see what her reaction is on that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, she, she, she kind of, she, she, she outwardly nods knowingly. It, it just sounds like something she's heard before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I was, I was more so, so looking for, ooh, is she going to be shocked or not? Because she's a yuan tea. Because, <clears throat> no she, offense, he said that and I'm like, maybe. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she says, well, that doesn't surprise me. They've they integrate into like societies pretty well from what I've what I've heard and the times I've encountered him. I've encountered some where the adventuring party I've went with killed some and we found things that you only find up 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 top up north, like in uh, Leona and Gadarn. Mm. Like 
papers and whatnot and like Ooh. yeah nothing that you know was written in code but clearly not from this area hmm yeah that's very curious yeah so <sighs> i mean i know they have that capability you're probably thinking of pure bloods um probably yeah they look most like normal people by the way, um, uh, so Abby is half elven, Williams is human, and Shillin is looks human as well. Looks human. Mm-hmm. Mm. Darren, you're making me suspicious. Sorry, <laughs> squints. Feeding some of that potion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just, uh, I, I, I take the drink and pour something in it. Just take this. <laughs> um, I mean, you wouldn't have to be, happen to be you on tea, would you? What? Wrong as <laughs> <laughs> Nah, just well, a guy. Just a guy okay. that's run into them a lot. The other two have as well. Hmm. You ever worked with them before? I've worked with I've worked with Abby before. I've worked with Williams before. Williams talks too much. <laughs> Abby Abby's the only other person I trust with me. Um to, if I had to work with somebody. Hmm. She's do you think capable. You could do it on your own. I can. I understand if you feel more comfortable with somebody else too. Um but if you are as capable as you say fighting wise and I don't need to insert myself into the fray I'm not much of a fighter myself my job is to get you from point A to point B no fuss no nonsense make sure you get out alive that's about it hmm. whether okay. whether whether we <laughs> Whether I, whether you're there to do, you know, to find out the the secret to immortal life, or to kill some wanty, or to kill some giant, or whatever, I don't care. I know my job. I do it well. That's all you need. That's all I, you know, that's all I do. Okay. Hmm. Well, chillin', I'll leave you to your drink, and I think me and my companions have some options to consider. Of course. Have a nice day. You as well. Um, Lynn, <laughs> you and Shaddock, mm -hmm. are, are you hanging out on the boat, or are you hanging out in the outpost? No, no, we haven't done that to... <laughs> These poor people. To the boat. They don't deserve that. <sighs> Not while we're at port. Just somewhere on port that looks roughly safe. Okay. Um, yeah. There is, like, Shylock is, like, pointing pointing to things and pointing to crocodiles in the river. And uh, you hear her stomach growling as she looks up at you. Um, <clears throat> are there any, like fish stands like selling like fish tacos like a boardwalk like what sort of food situation are we looking at here you are looking at a food situation <clears throat> where it's there is quite the variety um <clears throat> there are people who are selling just cut fruit of different varieties uh or the juices from said fruit um there are people selling um stews of different creatures a lot of them fish a lot of them river fish um a few of them probably fowl and beasts found in the jungle there's even an iguana green curry as you pass by one of the stalls um there is a variety of things it looks like mostly workers are picking them up a lot of workers are picking them up um it looks like there is people tossing in grains and meat and some beans, wrapping it into a banana leaf, steaming it, and then workers paying for it, 
you know, kind of like carry your own food into work. Okay. Um, um, I will grab um, some of the fruit mm-hmm. and one of the stews that smells reasonably tasty mm-hmm. without smelling like real crazy. Like, I don't want to feed somebody some weird, weird stuff and then have them like throw up and poop themselves a bunch. So, uh, you know, just something uh, reasonable. Okay. Um, you pick up uh, a fish uh stew dish that is spiced with um the the vendor says not very spicy chilies and it is a tomato based uh sauce um that the fish is based in with some pepper salt and you also pick up uh these a cluster of what looks like large berries um but when you peel off the skin. There is like this white flesh fruit inside, and it's very sweet. Uh, Shadok accidentally bites. Like when you give her the fruit, she accidentally just doesn't peel the fruit. She bites into it. She spits it out, and you see like the skin is like leather. The there's the white flesh, and there's like a large pit inside that she bit through with her teeth. I will uh, attempt to, like, show her like a better, better round two. Okay. And we'll uh, we'll kind of go through this together. Okay. It, this this is essentially like a lychee. Um, so you show her how to peel it, and you show her, hey, don't eat the whole thing. Eat the outside flat the flesh of it, and then throw away the pit. And she starts, you know, she's like. Mm-hmm. And but as soon as she de- as as soon as you show her that she starts like taking handfuls and starts peeling and she re- she's really enjoying the fruit, and the fish dish isn't too bad either. Um, cool. Yeah, it's a tomato sauce, coconut milk based sauce. Um, there are uh... yeah, and you guys are just hanging out. Ronnie, you are sleeping <laughs> away. Um. Yep. Okay. Just, just taking a light cat nap in the corner of the <laughs> the tavern in place. Okay. You no, know, life's short. Yeah. Might as well spend a lot more of it sleeping. All right. Gotta catch those Z's when you can. All right. So you guys, uh, the three of you, four of you, regroup. Don't think there's any truly horrible choices here, but um... no. Um, so yeah, I imagine middle of the road choice. Yeah, uh, I think Shailene is uh, maybe the best option for getting the job done. I agree. Uh, William seems a bit of a wild card, so yes, but he's um good at avoiding battle, which I think is a useful skill here. We might be very well overwhelmed by the Monty. Yes, he, yes, but he's good at avoiding battle. Does that mean he's just going to leave us? or mm. And come back after the fighting is done? Or he's going to help us get out? That's a good question. Because I do think that Shillin is going to be the most reliable out of all of them. Um, she'd work with Abby, but not Williams. If we want to hire two, I think Shillin would be fine. Um, also, um, she is a little bit more expensive than the others, but I think it might be worth it. And it's only three days. I'm not gonna quibble over a few gold pieces. No, especially not for this. I'd rather pay for quality. And I don't mind paying for it if we're short on funds. No, we we can do it. Um, I'm gonna have to go really soon, guys, because like my head is starting to pound. 
I, I I'm a... on the edge of of. Sleep, yeah, we're we're so. we're almost done here. You guys can okay. make your decision, and then we can we can pick it up um in two I think weeks. We're, I think we're leaning towards Shillin. Okay. Yeah. All in favor of Do we want to make the DM bring everybody? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> um, Neither I'm of them to... will work with Williams, so. Yeah. Uh, I personally am fine with Shillin. And she seems to be the most experienced with uh, getting us to where we want to go. And she recognized the name of the uh, person that we're looking for. So. Mm. And it didn't pick up anything shady, either. I agree. So. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Just run and snore from the corner. <laughs> am, I, am, I so, am I there? Uh, it's up uh, to you. so. You can bring. Uh, I mean, you can, be, there's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Shadok. There's no reason you can't bring Shadok into the tavern. <laughs> yeah. Told you about them. So. Uh, I think that, uh, honestly, either of them will probably be all right. It's. I, I don't really want them in combat. I would much rather them stay, you know, somewhere defensible and then have us. You know, get them afterwards. So, yes, that seems to be the consensus among all of them. Honestly. Marvelous. So, all right, I think Shillin it is. Uh, we can discuss with her what kind of supplies we might need uh, for special things to get us through the jungle. Um, I mean, I think we mostly try to prepare for that, but still, better safe than sorry. And... We may want to see if there's any uh, type of. Uh, like bug ointment goo that they sell. I did try to buy some of that already, but they might have uh, something more specialized here. Exactly. Uh, when the whatever the locals use could be possibly better. Our guide might be able to give us some ideas. Yes. Ironically, uh -huh. ooze is great for getting rid of flies. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're just trying to say that's why you went into it. I don't think she willingly went into it. It more brought her inside of it. Mm -hmm. Can keep its pseudopods off me. I go to. And we're going with Shillin. All right, sounds good. Okay, cool. All right. Um. All right, we can get into more of it uh, in two weeks. Uh, just yep. remember, we do not have a game next week because two of us are gone. Um, <laughs> and... well, we'll see. By in the one week, you guys might be playing. Anyways, yeah. More people. Okay. All right. All you right. got. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Good night.